It's time for the Quiver River Electric Tridcast pregame. Brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. And good evening and welcome to men's semifinal night from the 94th annual Bowling Green Invitational. I had to think about where we were, Jason Orr, <laughs> uh, in the week. It's uh, night number four of the 94th Invitational here at Bowling Green High School. And uh, we're going to start it off with the uh, the hosts uh, in number one seed, Bowling Green, as they're set to take on Ellsbury in the first of two championship semifinals here from the high school gym. It'll be uh, Van Farr in action in the second game. And uh, a full night uh, will also have the uh, consolation semis going on down the hall. But uh, Bowling Green and Ellsbury, then Van Farr and North Callaway here in the uh, high school gym. Silent Quinfield, Louisiana, clopped in the late game with Chuck and April down the hall. Uh, so still lots of basketball to be played here at the uh, tournament. Uh, but we have uh, set the uh, ladies' championship night after a pretty fun night last night as uh, uh, Van Farr, uh, made a very good showing, but uh, fell to Bowling Green, the top seed. Uh, so Van Farr will play Ellsbury in the third place game uh, coming up on uh, Friday. Uh, clopped him. Uh, really no problem with Ellsbury. Used a couple of different tactics in that one, including a, a two-minute stall yeah. at the end of the uh, first half to kind of frustrate uh, the uh, Lady Indians. So uh, clopped him in Bowling Green for the championship tomorrow night. The consolation game. Uh, North Callaway beat Winfield 55-14 to to make it into the Constellation Championship. And in overtime, second time those two teams have gone to overtime in uh, less than a week, Louisiana beat Silex 36-30, to avenging the uh, Silex homecoming night uh, overtime uh, defeat. So Louisiana moves on, Silex eliminated from the tournament. So it'll be North Callaway and Louisiana the uh, early game tomorrow, the Consolation Championship, 415 pregame, 430 tip-off here from the uh, 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational. Van Farr, Ellsbury for third place, and Bowling Green, Clopton. Our schedule for Ladies' Championship Night is set here at Bowling Green. So what do you think so far? We've had uh, some blowouts. Yep. We've had some uh, unexpectedly close games. Uh, we had one forfeit. Uh, so far <laughs> this week, uh, it's been we've had a little bit of everything uh, here at the 94th Invitational. We'll take a quick break here on the Quiver River Electric Cooperative Tripcast pregame. More from the Invitational after this on Tripcast. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on Tripcast is brought to you in part by Pike County Title Company, Hayden's Motorsports Center, Abel's Quick Shops, Craig Bowen CPAs, Rawls County Mutual Insurance, Ingram Plumbing, DH Electric. By Saints Avenue Cafe, Lincoln County Technical Skills and Services, Wood Smoke Meats, Twin City Bowl, and by Northeast Missouri Title Company. More Bowling Green Tournament action is coming up. This is Tribcast. Are you still looking for a bank that knows you by name, offers convenient hours, and hometown service? Look no further than Community State Bank of Missouri. Hello, this is Deb Olson. Our Pleasant staff is here to welcome you and service all of your banking needs. Stop by our office in Bowling Green or Troy and experience the banking difference. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon reminds you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. Mid-America Auto and Towing, complete automotive service, new and used tires with wholesale pricing. Mid-America Auto and Towing has a great line of used cars and trucks available with financing options for everyone. Buy here and pay here on select models at Mid-America Auto and Towing. Now at 15877 Highway 54 in Bowling Green across from the fairgrounds. Mid-America Auto and Towing. This is the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame, brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. Mark Ronick, Jason Orr here in the uh, Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth, getting ready for two games tonight, uh, the men's championship semifinals, Bowling Green and Ellsbury, and uh, uh, both of them in the uh, opening round. Uh, 
well, showed why uh, they have advanced uh, to this uh, to this champion or uh, championship semi. Bowling Green uh, defeated Silex 65 to 45, and probably wasn't even as close as the 20 point uh, uh, final score. Ellsbury um, beat uh, Winfield 55-50. Uh, uh, Winfield I, I played their hearts out yeah. in that one, and actually. Uh, changed up their normal game plan. They're usually a, a little uh, feistier and like to, to get a little bit uh, almost to the edge of yeah. dirty. Um, and uh, I think Ellsbury was expecting that. Didn't happen, but they still come away with the uh, the five-point victory. Uh, and uh, I thought um, in that game, Garrett Hill was very good. Uh, he uh, showed a little frustration early, but uh, got himself together. I don't know uh, if he did, just didn't jive with that officiating crew, but when he uh, uh, stopped thinking about that and started playing basketball, he ended up with over 20 points in that ball game. Jake Rimel, though, I thought uh, played his best basketball that we've seen, uh, number 24 for the uh, Ellsbury Indians. Um, just very composed, uh, used that energy uh, he has uh, in a constructive way, and maybe it's uh, just getting to that point of the season where uh, – uh, you're you're finally got uh, I don't know the antics out of your system yep. and and go out and play ball uh, maybe maybe a little tired and uh, and just have the energy for ball at this point but uh, I thought he was very good uh, you got to give him props uh, for uh, for the performance he put out in that five point victory so Bowling Green and Ellsbury later on Van Far and North Calloway um, Van Far North Calloway that didn't go. Uh, According to playing earlier this season, did it? No, it really didn't. They took the L in a double overtime to a, I believe it was a buzzer beater off the three point, off the three point line, and a, uh, you know, a lot of Van Four Indians say they didn't play their best game at all that night. Yeah. I mean, Verlin Johnson was one who fouled out in that game, and uh, I'm pretty sure scoring for the Indians was very low. But they're looking to turn it around tonight. A lot of, a lot of antics and specs about this game <laughs> is very, very high tonight. Yeah, the the. Uh I know Coach Pat Conaway used that uh, double overtime defeat uh, as a motivating tool yeah. uh, earlier this season, and it's kind of sprung them a, a nice little uh, run they put together. They come into this tournament as the, the two seed based on uh, what they've accomplished in the uh, the first half of the season. And uh, and I, I don't think it's I – I would hate to be North Callaway tonight because uh, I think Van Farr is going to come out just uh, clicking on all cylinders, uh, showing that that was – more than a fluke. Yeah, that uh, that first meeting uh, at North Callaway before Christmas. So that's what's going on here. We'll take a break. We've got uh, starting lineups still to come. This is the Quiver River Electric Cooperative Tripcast pregame. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. With an active lifestyle of sports comes health risks and safety hazards. I'm Eric Schaefer, certified athletic trainer at PCMH, and I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. Working with Clopton, Bowling Green, and Louisiana schools, we strive to prevent, diagnose, and treat a wide variety of injuries, ranging from sprains and fractures to heat stroke and concussions. In addition to sports coverage, we offer impact testing for head injuries as well as athletic enhancement for those athletes looking to get a step ahead of the competition. Rest assured, we're at work while you're athletes are at play. Have you been frustrated by slow internet available where you live? Great news. Now you have a choice. Viasat Internet has just rolled out brand new fast internet plans available in your area. Call your local internet expert, Cellular and Satellite Center today. Standard installation is free and they can usually get you installed in three to five days. Don't put up with slow internet any longer. Call Cellular and Satellite Center at 573-324-3722. Terms and restrictions apply. See Viasat.com for details. The Bib Beach Funeral Homes, LLC, of Bowling Green and Silex and Collier Funeral Home in Louisiana are proud to sponsor our area high school teams and wish everyone success this season. Uplifting and comforting, Bib Beach Funeral Homes and Collier Funeral Home will help you celebrate the life of your loved one. Proud to be of service, visit online at bibbeach.com or collierfuneral.com. A personal touch can mean so much. Bib Beach Funeral Homes, Bowling Green and Silex, and Collier Funeral Home in Louisiana. At Bowling Green Lumber Company, they have everything you need to tackle that home improvement job. 
From foundation to roof and the complete interior, Bowling Green Lumber can supply all your building needs. They don't call Bowling Green Lumber the most complete building center in the area for nothing. Stop in for siding, hardware, doors, windows, paint, plywood, drywall, treated lumber, ceilings, tools, insulation, and much more. Bowling Green Lumber, 7th and Champ Clark Drive, phone 324-5400. Other people are trying to make money, we're just trying to make friends. Bowling Green Lumber. This is the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame, brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. Well, it makes me feel better. It was just off screen, but watching uh, Garrick Hill stretch is like watching me stretch. <laughs> <laughs> very painful and uh, <laughs> and not very much flex in there. You, you need some help. But uh, yeah, he gets out there. He's a gamer, he's, but he's a big guy. He's a big guy. All right, about 10 minutes to go before we tip off the first of two uh, semifinals in the championship side of the bracket tonight here from the uh, high school gym. Over in the uh, middle school gym, the consolation semis, Chuck and April on the call down there. Silex Winfield, then Louisiana Clopton. Here it's Bowling Green Ellsbury, again, and then uh, Van Farr North Callaway. And it's time to take a look at our Pike County Health Department Tripcast starting lineups for this ball game. Check out all their services at pikecountyhealth.org. The Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice, caring for our communities. And for the Ellsbury Indians, they're 7-7 seven and seven this season. Uh, the number four seed coached by Chad Twelman. They'll start a senior at 5'8", number 11, Hunter Grills. 6'3", senior, number 12, Derek Taylor, gets the start tonight. 5'11", junior, number 24, Jake Rimel, in the starting five. 6'6", six, six, senior, number 44, Garrick Hill. And a 6'6", six, six, senior, number 54, Trevor Anthony. I thought he was pr- pr- fairly good yeah. uh, in the semifinal as well. So, again, you've got Grills, Taylor, Rimel, Hill, and Anthony. Anthony kind of gets overlooked sometimes uh, just because – he, he's not the personality that mm-hmm. uh, that the rest. He, he goes out there and and just handles his business. He's on a mission. Yeah, exactly. So there's your starters for Ellsbury for the number one seed Bowling Green Bobcats. They're nine and six, coached by Brandon McCann. They'll start a five ten senior number three Kaleo Dade, number twenty three six two junior Cameron Worley gets the start tonight. Five eleven junior number twenty four Drew Bowen, uh, number twenty five a five ten sophomore Michael Starks gets the start tonight. He has got to keep the fouls under control. Yep. Uh, when he was in there, he was very effective. Um, even mom says he needs to stop being lazy on defense and picking <laughs> up those ticky-tack fouls. Uh, so uh, we'll see if he can clean things up tonight and be more of a contributor offensively. 6-3, junior gets a start tonight, number 35, George Niemeyer. So, again, for Bowling Green, it's Dade, Worley, Bowen, Starks, and Niemeyer, the starting five. And those are your Pike County Health Department Tribcast starting lineups. Check out all their services at pikecountyhealth.org. The Pine County Health Department, home health and hospice, caring for our communities. Tonight's game officials are brought to you by Mr. Referee, Dennis McMillan of Center Locker Service. Farm-raised and deer meat processing, local beef and pork products, jerky, meat sticks, and more at Center Locker Service and centerlocker.com. Your officials for tonight's game, Brad Mitchell, Steve Donahue, and Dolph Schollenberg. There's a name, Mitchell, Donahue, and Schollenberg. The uh, officials for tonight, three-man crew, brought to you by Center Locker Service, farm-raised and deer meat processing, local beef and pork products, jerky, meat sticks, and more. Uh, online at centerlocker.com or in person at Center Locker Service in Center, Missouri. About seven and a half minutes to go before we tip this one off. We'll take a quick break and have some final thoughts before action gets underway. This is the Quiver River Electric Cooperative Tripcast pregame. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TripCast is brought to you in part by Shelter Insurance Agent Frank Wallace in Vandalia, by State Representative Jim Hansen, the Clopton Hawks Booster Club, Frankfurt Farm Supply, by PJ's Salon, Perkins Electrical Service, Silex Banking Company, Spring Valley Accounting Service, Magruder Limestone Company, Country View Nursing Facility, and by Central Bank of Audrain County. More Bowling Green Tournament action is coming up. This is Tribcast. When you contract with a local company, you're sure to receive friendly, professional service. And that's just what you'll get with Orf Construction. A homegrown company, Orf Construction specializes in residential and commercial projects. A state-certified septic installer, Orf's offers backhoe, skid steer, and excavation services. Call 324-3552 for your next project. And remember, Orf's does basements, grading, and much more. Orf Construction in Bowling Green. 
Are you looking for a subcompact tractor with massive working potential and comfort? That's the Kubota BX Series. Haul, mow, dig, plow, all from the comfort of America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Take home a dependable BX80 now with financing as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months, plus great customer instant rebates and a six-year warranty. Your authorized Kubota dealer in Bowling Green is Meyer Implement Company. Business Highway 61 North. Offer now through March 31st, 2018. See us or go to Kubota USA for more information. Meyer Implement Company. We have Appreciate your business. Nothing outworks an F-Series. Nothing outsells an F-Series. No matter what you're doing, Ford trucks are the trucks the guys and gals who do the hardest work depend on. Don't miss the great deals on America's best-selling brand. Hurry into Pogue Ford today for great deals on new and used vehicles. Whether you're looking for a car, SUV, or truck, Pogue Ford has you covered. Visit soon at Pogue Ford, Business 61 South in Bowling Green, or visit online at PogueFord.com. Pogue Ford, where they treat their customers like friends and family. This is the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame, brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. Seats starting to fill up here in the high school gym. Night number four of the Bowling Green Invitational, and uh, the referees are clapping it up, calling the uh, captains over to the uh, scorers to ta- uh, table to talk about the rules and and uh, sportsmanship and uh, what they're doing after the ball game. Uh have you ever been? I, I, what do they talk about in there before basketball? I know football games. You know, you got to talk about certain things. Yep. What are they talking about in basketball? You know, having a few times over on the Van Far home side with the scoreboard. You know, it's usually just you know we're gonna play this way. Everything you know, watch the hands tonight. Keep it clean. Keep it fresh. Let's have some fun. All right. So basic. Basics, yes. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> no exchanging lineups or anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not baseball. Everyone knows who's who's out there. But uh, uh, about uh, four minutes to go. We've got two games here from the high school gym. Two from the uh, middle school gym. Championship semis over here, and the uh, consolation semifinals down there. We've got uh, Bowling Green in action against Ellsbury. One versus four, and then uh, a little bit later on, Van Farr takes on North Callaway here to decide who goes to the championship game. It uh, is night four of the 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational. We've got basketball coming up for you next on TribCast. This is TribCast, celebrating 10 years of champions. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on thepeoplestribune.com is brought to you by Bowling Green Tractor. Quiver River Electric Cooperative, the Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice, by State Farm Insurance Agents Paul Shukard in Bowling Green, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia, by La Crosse Lumber Company, Bowling Green Ready Mix in Kearns Construction, Community State Banks of Missouri, Young Enterprises Incorporated, by Center Locker Service, Shelter Insurance Agent Tim Jenkins in Louisiana, the Law Office of Briscoe and Brannon, Pike County Memorial Hospital, by b and Automotive, Sparks Maintenance Contracting Heating and Cooling, Cellular and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, by Mid-America Auto and Towing, the Bid Beach Funeral Homes LLC, and Callier Funeral Home in Louisiana, your county market grocery stores in Vandalia and Louisiana, Meyer Implement Company, Orf Construction, the Bowling Green Bobcat Booster Club, by Bowling Green Lumber Company, Lynn's Heritage House, Calvert's General Insurance, by Nutrient Ag Solutions, Danny Orf General Contracting, McMailer and Sons Excavation and more, Airco Travel Centers, Cole Chiropractic Center, the Van Bar Indians Booster Club, Lincoln's Flooring in Bowling Green, by Pogue Ford, Family Health Pharmacies, Pike County Title Company, Hayden's Motorsports Center, by Abel's Quick Shops, Craig Bowen CPAs, Rawls County Mutual Insurance, Ingram Plumbing and Bowling Green, by DH Electric, Saints Avenue Cafe, Lincoln County Technical Skills and Services, Wood Smoke Meats, Twin City Bowl, Northeast Missouri Title Company, Shelter Insurance Agents Brent Brandstetter in Bowling Green and Frank Wallace in Vandalia. 
by Missouri State Representative Jim Hansen, the Clafton Hawks Booster Club, Frankfurt Farm Supply, by PJ Salon, Perkins Electrical Service, Spring Valley Accounting Service, Silex Banking Company, Magruder Limestone, by Country View Nursing Facility, the Louisiana Bulldog Booster Club, and Lane Boutique, Central Bank of Autrain County, Maple Grove Lodge Nursing Home, by Central Elevator in Silex, Niemeyer Family Farms, Midwest Pest Control, Denise Leverett of RP Lane Company, Hugh Brain Construction, J. Heard Tree Service, Hanky Construction Company, and by Baragiola Hardware and Lumber. Now, coverage of the 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational Basketball Tournament from the People's Tribune newspaper. This is TripCast. It's Niemeyer with the flute there on the <laughs> national anthem before the start of night number four of the Bowling Green Invitational. Getting ready to introduce the players on the floor. We'll take a quick break. Come back next with your Lacrosse Lumber Company opening tip on TripCast. At Nutrient Ag Solutions in Bowling Green, they are focused on one thing and one thing only, providing their customers with the products and services they need to produce the best yield possible. Nutrient Ag Solutions offers Dynagro and other brands of seed, ag chemicals, bulk and package, custom blend fertilizer, custom application, anhydrous, as well as expert advice and service. Nutrient Ag Solutions, with two locations in Bowling Green on Pike 291 and Business Highway 61 North. Nutrient Ag Solutions. And now, big news from your area flooring headquarters, Liggins Flooring in Bowling Green. They're proud to announce three new lines of vinyl clicked together flooring that look absolutely fantastic with Liggins quality installation with over 20 years experience. Whether you need carpet, hardwood, ceramic, laminate, vinyl, or tile, call Mike or Shelley at 573-324-3030. Oh, and don't forget, Liggins Flooring is the only Dreamweaver carpet distributor in the area. Liggins Flooring in Bowling Green. Tribcast video from the Bowling Green Tournament brought to you by shelter insurance agent Tim Jenkins in Louisiana. Let Tim Jenkins show you how insuring your home and auto with shelter insurance can save you money. And the fight song plays ahead of our Lacrosse Lumber Company opening tip here on night number four of the Bowling Green Invitational Championship uh, semifinals here from the high school gym. And our opening tip brought to you by Lacrosse Lumber Company. Everything you need to tip off your next improvement project at a location close to you. Lacrosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. It'll be George Niemeyer jumping center against Trevor Anthony. The scoreboard comes on, and we are ready for basketball here from the 94th Bowling Green Invitational. And it's one back. To Derek Taylor. So Trevor Anthony wins the opening tip for Ellsbury. We're underway. To the far side, Garrick Hill. To Jake Rimel for the Indians. Again. Oh, through the legs of Hunter Grills out of bounds. Turnover gives it back to Bowling Green or to Bowling Green for the first time in this contest. No score. Ran 14 seconds off the clock. Here's Starks for the Bobcats, working against Rimal. Comes in near side, rolls it out to Kaleo Day. Dade hands it back to Michael Starks. From Cam Cameron Worley back to Kaleo Day, now to George Niemeyer up high. George to Cameron Worley. Worley into the corner for Starks. He'll put up the three. That one's good. There it is. Michael Starks gets the Bobcats on the board early. 45 seconds into this game, 3-0 Bowling Green. Hill to Rhyme on the far corner for the Indians. Back to the near side for Hunter Grills. Grills trying to find Garrick Hill. 
He gets away from Niemeyer momentarily, but has to pull back. Now to Trevor Anthony. He works on Kaleo Dade, kicks it out to Hunter Grills. Grills was defended closely. Bowling Green, very aggressive man right now. And, ooh, there it is. Oh, oh. blocking foul against Kaleo. I really thought he got himself I set. thought he pulled away with it. He had the arms against the body instead of in yeah. the air. I think that's the difference there. He gets the arms up all the way. That's a no-brainer call. And Hill puts the first point on the board for Ellsbury. So Kaleo's first foul. And the first against the Bobcats. Second shot. Yep, they came in early, I thought, but no call. And it's 3-1. to one. I thought maybe they'd give another opportunity there because Dade came across. Here's Kaleo with it. Cameron Worley, and he traveled. Yep. Lost the handle yep. uh, right before he started to go. Here comes Rimel for the Indians. Over to Taylor on the far side. Lob pass for Garrick Hill. That shot no good, but Anthony comes away with it. Already 7-4, Winfield over in the other gym. Hill to the near side for Grills. That shot is good. Ellsbury with their first lead as Hunter Grills drains a three. Four to three. Quickly back the other way. Niemeyer too hard off the glass. Rebound put up in the air. Starks came away with it, and then he's tied up. No. Taken away from behind by Taylor. Feeds it off. Grills waits for the defense to go by, and a travel. Couldn't quite put on the brakes. how that is I've been sliding all over the place this week Starks to date at the free throw line to Cameron Worley for three that one's just off the mark rebound Niemeyer had it tipped to him from Starks another three that one's Kaleo from the top six to four Bob a couple of threes drain on the Bowling Green side one on the Ellsbury side To the near side, Grills, another try. That one's blocked. Niemeyer tips it up, but goes to Taylor. That shot is good. Derek Taylor ties it at six. Three minutes gone here in the first. Cameron Worley caught in the corner against Trevor Anthony. Hands it off for Drew Bowen. Bowen back to Worley. He's got space now. Shot oh. no good. Rimmed out on him, but he's fouled. Amel head to the line. Good action end to end here. <laughs> Five or four fifty two to go here in the first quarter. First shot good for Cameron Worley. Breaks the deadlock. Second shot for Cam. Short, but uh, had enough juice to roll over and go in. Eight to six bowling green. Starks all over Derek Taylor. <laughs> Starks smiles and claps in front of him. Rimel, scoop to the hoop, no. Niemeyer the rebound, here's Kaleo, he's having trouble with it in a double team. Rimel had it but bounced his hip off of it, or bounced himself off the ball by his hip. Now Rimel the steal, he came in from behind Starks, never saw him coming and no foul, no basket. Niemeyer the rebound. Kaleo falls down, and they're going to say it's a foul. And the first shock and awe face from Gare Kill tonight. His first, team second. Dade at the line, and his first shot is good. He talked in the post game the other night. You know, he's a football player, but he loves playing basketball. Mm -hmm. 
And he's got a pretty sweet shot. Drained them both here to make it 10 to 6. And they're going to get Starks. Taylor better watch those uh, return shots, though. Yeah. They're going to start calling that retaliation. I bet we have a double foul on those two at some point tonight. Taylor, I'll back Michael that up. Starks. Ball goes to four. Hill picks it up. Pass to the far side for Rymel. Now up top for Trevor Anthony. Anthony, bounce pass through the legs of Taylor. He picks it back up. Mob pass for Garrick Hill. Hill across. Hunter grills. Blocked. Kaleo gets the rebound, but it's stolen. And that shot is off the glass and in for Garrick Hill. And a foul on Rymel. This is this is going to be whoever can keep their emotions in yep. check enough, not in check, but in check enough, is going to win this ball game. Bowen trying to inbound, got to get it, and a timeout taken by Bowling Green. Three thirty-five to go in the first. Bobcats lead by two from the ninety-fourth Bowling Green Invitational on Tripcast. This year, join the thousands of customers Center Locker Service has made happy for over 60 years. Invest this year's tax return in a full freezer with locally raised top quality meats from Center Locker. Take home a half or whole hog or beef and enjoy delicious meals for months and months. While you're at Center Locker, check out their house line of beef sticks, summer sausage, jerky, dogs, and brats. Make that big barbecue or family dinner extra special with Center Locker Service. 1-800-884-0737 or Center CenterLocker.com. Now more TripCast coverage of high school sports from the Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth. Bowling Green Tractor, your Xmark professional turf care equipment dealer, 1201 Business 61 South in Bowling Green. Into the backcourt for Michael Starks as we're underway again here from the Bowling Green Tournament. Cameron Worley for the Bobcats. Then your side for Kaleo Dade. One change, Jack St. Pierre into the ball game for Ellsbury. Well, two changes. There's Joel Mount. He's also in. So Rymel has a seat. And who's it? Grills also out. Starks dumps it off. Niemeyer, yes, off the glass. Four-point lead for the Bobcats. Taylor, good crossover to get away from Worley. Now pulls back, gives it to Garrick Hill. Hill works against Niemeyer all the way to the hoop and scores. Big man has some moves. Got a great lean. Ten to your side for Dade. Taylor out on him. Bounce pass to Starks. Back to the near side for Cleo Dade. Michael works against Joel Mound to the near side for Dade again. Look for that lob pass into Niemeyer. Starks to Drew Bowen. Kaleo lost control, got it back, and got it to fall. Kaleo Dade, 14 to 10 Bobcats. Six minutes gone here in the first. To the far side for Jack St. Pierre. St. Pierre up top for Trevor Anthony. Anthony over to the far side. Taylor faked the three, goes to the hoop, and from the baseline scores. Back and forth we go. And Niemeyer has his pass intercepted. Taylor, cross the line for Ellsbury. They could tie or take the lead. St. Pierre for Taylor. Lob pass for Anthony. Makes his way to the center of the lane. Now kicks it near side and St. Pierre lost his footing. Trying to change back direction and goes out of bounds back to Bowling Green. So the steal doesn't hurt. Far side into the corner for Bowen. Crosses over, gives it back to Kaleo Dade. NBA range three. And it's there good. it is. Kaleo Dade. 
17 to 12, Bobcats. Minute to go here in the first. Bounce pass to the near side. Tried to work it in, and we're going to have a foul on Cameron Worley. His first, team's third. Cody Thornhill delivers it back up the floor for Ellsbury as it rolled all the way down. Get it into St. Pierre. Down to Trevor Anthony. Anthony works at, looks at Dade. Coach Tallman says don't stand there. That shot's good from the free throw line for Derek Taylor. Three-point game. They had Kaleo for a three. Now they've got Starks for a three. A little long on that one. And the rebound goes to the floor. And it is, is it tied up or a timeout? Looks like a timeout with 21 seconds to go in the first. Bowling Green leads. It'll be Ellsbury Ball when we come back on TripCast. It's the place there's no place else like home. It's the circle of chairs around your fire pit where all the do you remembers get passed around like bowls of ice cream. It's bacon and eggs in the skillet crackling along with the laughter. At Shelter Insurance, we don't just insure your home. We insure all the memories that live inside it. Ask your agent for details. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Let Tim Jenkins in Louisiana show you how insuring your home and auto with Shelter Insurance can save you money. Team's back on the floor. 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Winner goes on to the championship game to face either Van Farr or North Callaway. Mound to inbound at the far end of the gym. It's on the near side for Derek Taylor. The difference a three-pointer right now. I get it to Garrick Hill. For Jack St. Pierre. The angles to the far side, down to five seconds. Four, three, two. They're going to get a shot off. Here's Anthony. Forced one. No. Didn't even look at the basket. He just threw it in the general direction. We played one. Bowling Green leads by a, a field goal, 17 to 14, after the first eight minutes on TripCast. Family Health Pharmacies in Bowling Green in Louisiana offer more prescriptions under more insurance plans for less. That should make you feel better. Family Health Pharmacies is there to help you when you're not feeling your best. Great gift ideas and half-price greeting cards, too. Two convenient locations to serve you. Bowling Green Pharmacy and Hearing Aid Center on the square in Bowling Green and Family Drug, 301 Georgia in Louisiana. Family Health Pharmacies, just what the doctor ordered. Proudly serving the area at 201 South Main in Vandalia, Cole Chiropractic Center is proud to support area high school basketball action on TripCast. Cole Chiropractic Center invites you to call or stop by if you've suffered a sports injury, work injury, or been involved in any type of auto accident. Dr. Cole at Cole Chiropractic offers gentle chiropractic care, 24-hour emergency services with most insurances accepted. Don't suffer needlessly. Call 594-2663. Cole Chiropractic Center, 201 South Main in Vandalia. 17-14 after the first corner. Let's check the scoring with Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. All right, first for the Bowling Green Bobcats. Clay O'Day getting that terrific start in the first quarter. He picks up 10 points. Cameron Worley gets two off the free throw line. Michael Starts get a three, gets a three of his own. And George Niemeyer picks up two to make them have 17 points. And over on the Ellsbury side, Hunter Grills has, picks up a three in the first quarter. Derek Taylor has six. Garrett Killer picks up five to make it a score of 17-14 to 14 in favor of the Bobcats. Over in the other gym after one, as Dade can't get that one to fall, Winfield leads Silex 19-9, so a 10-point lead for the uh, Warriors over the Owls to see who will go to the consolation championship. 17-14 scoring through one quarter, brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Kent Feeds, Ask to Calum Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at Young Enterprises, Inc., Com. To the free throw line for Garrick Hill into a double team, and he throws it away. Almost looked like Mound was backing <laughs> away from that pass. I don't want it. And a substitution as Hunter Grills will come back in for Joel Mound. Hey, 
7.20 left in the first half. To the near side, Drew Bowen. Now for Kaleo Day. Dade calls out the play, gets it to Niemeyer. Niemeyer back to Worley. He'll try the three. That one's good. Boom. That had a nice little splash to it there. Make it 20 to 14. Bowling Green living by the threes right now. Yep. Let's hope they don't dry up. Back up top for St. Pierre. For Garrick Hill. All the way across, Hunter Grills lost it off his toe and then throws it off in a whirly out of bounds. Cam wanted that one. Yep. Hunter Grills to inbound, gets it to Derek Taylor. Back to Hunter Grills. Taylor for three from the near corner. That one rims out, Kaleo Day the rebound. Pass ahead for Michael Stark. Starks one on two to the hoop. No. Niemeyer Spalo. Oh! oh! And the rebound pulled down by Bo Henry. Garrick Hill, finger roll. No. Through contact, and he ends up on the floor. Here comes Starks for Bowling Green. Michael still with the ball over to the far side. Cameron Worley into the corner. Drew Bowen will try the tray. It's long. Turns into a pass and a foul. Taylor. Knocks with Michael Starks, and uh, I knew he was going to foul him at some point. I thought it, I didn't think it'd be <laughs> flying in from across the the floor, but there's a freebie for Michael Starks. Morley. Two Starks back up top, Cameron Worley. Kaleo Dade tries the three. That one's short. And the rebound pulled down by Derek Taylor. Grills for Taylor in the corner. Back to Hunter over to the far side for St. Pierre. Now for Trevor Anthony off the shin of Bo Henry. He gets it back to Trevor Anthony. Bowen went down, got back up, settles back into this zone. 1-2-2. Two, two. For Bowling Green over to the far side, Derek Taylor. Corner, back up top. Taylor thought about tying the three. Now they go baseline, little floater, and that shot is good for Jack St. Pierre. Four-point game. Worley back up top for Michael Starks. And he traveled, slid that pivot foot about uh, four or five inches. And substitutions for Bowling Green for the first time. As Gavin Dieters comes in, as well as Austin Callahan, Starks and Bowen take a seat. Cross-court pass into the corner now. Turnaround shot. That one misses everything. And Gladney on the floor for it after his own miss, but it comes away to Bowling Green, to Niemeyer. Ahead for Gavin Dieters, and Dieters didn't like what he saw ahead of him, so he pulls back. Here's Worley. Fade away off the glass. Callahan, how is that not a foul? <laughs> Callahan had... What two, three guys draped over him? Some. I, I, I That's just. That's a lot of content. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what to say about these refs tonight. Well, one, you don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything <laughs> at all. That's what they teach me. Here's Dade to the near corner for Callahan. Now for Gavin Dieters, almost over his head. Allowed St. Pierre to get the defense over there for Ellsbury. Now into the corner, Callahan. Good ball fake to the middle. Niemeyer is mugged. Ooh. Taylor goes down awkwardly after picking up the foul. Knees don't move like that. But he's okay. And the first shot for Niemeyer is no good. 
Tomcats 20, Indians 16. We got more Indians coming up. The Van Farr variety as Niemeyer makes one of two. The defending state champions in action against North Callaway. Oop. Off the knee of Hill. Here's Dieters. One on four. No, but a foul. We'll send Gavin to the line. Tried to blade his body and fit through three guys. At least he drew the personal. And the foul goes against number four, uh, 54, Trevor Anthony. Trevor Anthony. Got stuck on my tongue there. And Dieter's first shot is good. 22 to 16. Bowling Green starting to open it up a little bit. Second shot, no good. Rebound, Taylor got it. It's a fight with teammate Garrick Hill for that board. Taylor all the way down, shot. No good, off the back iron and out. Cameron Worley collects the board. Up to Callahan, he pulls back. To Worley, off of Gladney, out of bounds. Ellsbury's got some big freshmen. Mm -hmm. that, that's what we've really seen this year. I mean, we've been to a lot of Ellsbury games, but that's something that's surprised me this year. Yeah. Is the size the of their size of underclassmen. The, yeah, underclassmen and upcoming. I remember uh, Cameron Worley playing as a freshman, and he was about four foot tall. He could hit the threes, though. Oh, yeah. He's grown a bit. Now another foul against Ellsbury. His hair hasn't changed, though. Timeout taken by Bowling Green. As the foul goes against Joel Mound. 2.53 to play in the first half. 22-16, Bowling Green leads on TripCast. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Cindy Blaylock will be there for you. 201 Georgia Street in Louisiana. Online at cindyblaylockagency.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. 2.53 to play here in the first half. State Farm Insurance Tripcast Halftime is coming up. That was a seven-team foul. So Gavin Dieters will go to the line to shoot one and ones. And the first shot is good. He earns the second. 23-16. Second shot, good as well. 24-16, so an eight-point Bowling Green lead here in the final three minutes of the first half. And a foul going to be whistled on Gavin Dieters. So three guys on your back, not a foul. <laughs> All right, I understand now. Going to be looking for the one-on-one -on -one situations yeah, now. Yeah, with with the, the light brush, yes. Over to the far side for Joel Mound. To Garrick Hill. Hill holds it high. Working against Niemeyer. Kicks it back to Mound. And another foul. This one on Callahan. That's the sixth team. Excuse me, fifth foul. And the first on Callahan, pass tipped and stolen and out of bounds is Callahan. Great effort though. Yep. You see the football mentality though for, for Callahan? Yeah. <laughs> he uh, knocked the man away before yeah. he went for the ball. 
I'm surprised someone didn't yell fumble Rushki or something. <laughs> Here's Grills. He knows something about quarterbacking, and a foul will send Garrick Hill to the line. 2.02 left in the first half, and the whistles are starting to mount here. Over in the other gym, 24 13 Winfield there in the final minute. Yeah, 45, or final 45 seconds, I think, of the first half. Twenty-four thirteen. Okay, here it's twenty-four sixteen, and Hills shot and Callahan went over. There's the call. We didn't see it that first time. We saw Kaleo do it, but now we see it. Yep, yeah, he went down on all t ten fingers. And he missed it again. This time, Kaleo the rebound. Dieters. Niemeyer didn't have a good putback. Here's Worley. Worley goes one on three. He's short. Not physically, but with the shot. And Hill picks up the ball off the rim. To Taylor. Derek Taylor. To Garrick Hill. Thought about the three. Goes to the baseline for Derek Taylor. Taylor. Backing up, backing up on Dieters. Now they work it into Hill, Taylor, and he's fouled by Dieters. That's three on Dieters, isn't it? Two or three? I've got him down for two, I believe. Yep, just two. Okay. But it does put Ellsbury in a one and one situation, uh -huh. a bonus. And Stark's going to come back in the ball game before the shot. Student section, and he fought through. <laughs> Earns the second. Almost sounds like a soccer game when they get going. Nice little goal action. <laughs> Got to get some Vuvuzelas going. He hit them both. Got a fever, and the only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> Blue oyster colt. Don't fear the reaper. What do we got here now? The officials are going to talk about something. Not sure exactly what they'd be discussing. They're calling Hill over... Oh, they they didn't like the way he checked in. I uh, guess. Possibly didn't bring him in. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Here's Starks, and he double dribbled. Now he can come in. Oh, oh, uh, you, 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 you want to come in? Okay. So a freebie there. Six-point game, minute 10 remains in the first half. Jack St. Pierre with it. To the near side, Garrick Hill. Bowling Green just clogging the middle, not allowing those big guys space. Far side, St. Pierre. Up top for... Hunter Grills. Grills to the near side. Garrick Hill. Now back to St. Pierre. Gliding. He's sliding around the baseline. Now he comes back out and has it for Ellsbury into the corner for Hill. Skip pass to St. Pierre. Lobs it. Trevor Anthony. Turnaround shot. No good. 
And the rebound picked up by Callahan for Bowling Green. Up to Cameron Worley. Starks almost hit the dirt. Now he's got the ball. To the near side. Dade in the corner. Thought about going over Gladney for the three. Gets it back to Starks into the corner. Cameron Worley, the tray. That one's there good. it is. 27-18 on the Worley three. St. Pierre down to one second. Oh, rim and out. We played two quarters here from the Bowling Green Invitational. Bobcats open up a nine-point lead on Ellsbury after the first 16 minutes, and we'll be back with the uh, State Farm Insurance Tribcast halftime after this on the peoplestribune.com. In a world at the mercy of every rise and fall of the thermometer, your local Bryant professional will stand and defend you, your family, your home, and your bank account from fluctuating temperatures and rising energy bills. Your protectors are Sparks Maintenance, Contracting, Heating and Cooling in Bowling Green at 106 Business Highway 61 North, 324-6500, SparksHeatingAndCooling.com. Bryant, whatever it takes. Take your grocery list to County Market in Louisiana and Vandalia and save big on the foods and essentials your family loves. Savings every day throughout the store in every department. Or let County Market do the cooking for you with signature fried chicken, roasters, sides, and desserts. And don't forget to use your Max Card. They're free and available for instant use from your local County Market grocer in Louisiana, Vandalia, or shop anytime. Find recipes and more at MyCountyMarket.com. Danny Orff Contracting, Pike County and surrounding areas construction and remodeling experts. At Danny Orff Contracting, we specialize in construction and remodeling contractor services. We offer free estimates. We have back-to-back -back scheduling to complete the job promptly and professionally, on time and on budget. If you have a construction project in mind, turn to Danny Orff Contracting. Call today at 573-470-4925. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TribCast is brought to you in part by Shelter Insurance Agent Brent Brandstetter in Bowling Green, the Louisiana Bulldog Booster Club, and Lane Boutique, Maple Grove Lodge Nursing Home, Central Elevator in Silex, Niemeyer Family Farms, Midwest Pest Control, Denise Leverett of RP Land Company, Hugh Brain Construction, J. Hurt Tree Service, Hankey Construction Company, and Baragiola Hardware and Lumber. More Bowling Green Tournament action is coming up. This is TripCast. It's time for the State Farm Insurance TripCast Halftime, brought to you by State Farm Insurance agents Paul Shukart in Bowling Green, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, we're learning the hardest thing in the world is to run a sound system with a whole gym of people <laughs> watching you as they try and uh, get to the halftime entertainment going with a tribute to Michael Jackson. It started off with Thriller. You always have to start it off or end it with Thriller. Yeah. One, one, one way or the other. All right, so we played two quarters here at uh, the Bowling Green Invitational, and uh, what do you think so far? Uh, I think uh, Bowling Green's defensive plan uh, has been perfect. Uh, yeah. Going dead zone and just uh, collapsing down in the middle, uh, not allowing those bigs for Ellsbury to make a difference. Yeah, you're starting to see in the beginning how – Bowling Green, they're just all getting in the middle middle of the zone just when they're on defense, and they're just trying to shut down players like Trevor Anthony, especially Garrick Hill, because he, right here, he's only got five points on the night, mm. and just two of them are from driving to the net. Yeah, yeah. And so, and so you know, Ellsbury's trying to, you know, I, I believe Coach Schulman's starting to see it, and so he brings them in and just trying to say, all right, let's move the ball around, get the – get the defense to start moving out beyond the arc and then open up the area. And then you see shots like Trevor Anthony made right at the end of the uh, second quarter. So through two, and, and y you know Twelman is always uh, working on adjustments. He, 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 he's a very good tactician, and, uh, and I, I think he'll come up with an answer. But uh, I, I'm not sure if there's – a, a uh, smarter young coach yeah. than uh, Brandon McCann. He knows a lot about basketball, and uh, uh, we'll see what he changes up 
on to, to start the second half because you know he's not going to come out the same way he ended the first half for sure. 27 to 18, we'll come back with first half or scoring after this. It's the State Farm Insurance Tripcast Halftime on the People's Tribune.com. Before or after the games at this year's district tournaments, let's go Airco. They're always glad to see you at Airco Travel Plaza in Bowling Green and at Airco Convenience Store in Louisiana. Stop in, fill up your vehicle, and fill yourself up with deli sandwiches, snacks, soda, Chester fried chicken, and more. Good luck to our area teams this week from all your friends at Airco. Open 24 hours a day in Bowling Green on Business 61 South and from Airco Convenience Store at the bridge in Louisiana. Let's go Airco. When it's time for some heavy-duty work in the dirt, there's only one name to remember, McMailer. McMailer & Sons Backhoe and Excavating of Silex now offers a new service, septic system pumping and grease trap cleanouts. Call McMailer for all types of backhoe work with high lift and track hoe. They install water or sewer lines, septic tanks, and drain tile. They can build lakes, do dump truck work, jackhammering, bobcat work, and more. Fully insured, you can count on quality workmanship from McMailer & Sons Backhoe Excavating and Septic in Silex, 384-596. Good luck to the Vampire Indians and Lady Indians in this week's tournament games. The Vampire Boosters support our hardworking athletes and encourage everyone to visit with any Booster Club member to see how you could become a member yourself. Vampire High School athletes are enjoying an unbelievable run of success and the Vampire Boosters have been there every step of the way. See you at the tournament. Best wishes to the Indians and Lady Indians from your Vampire Indians Booster Club. If you're in the market for New Holland Farm Equipment, an Exmark mower, or Kinsey Planter, see Bowling Green Tractor today. Bowling Green Tractor is celebrating their completely new state-of-the-art shop and newly remodeled showroom to service all your parts, service, and equipment needs. Call Bowling Green Tractor 324-3337 or stop by and check out the expanded shop. Wishing all our area teams the best of luck this year. Bowling Green Tractor. If you buy power from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, you help power your community. How? Quiver River belongs to the people it serves. With people like you in charge, you know decisions about your power are made with you in mind. Your community, too. What kind of decisions? Sending you a check when there's money left after expenses. Holding down rates. Helping you save. Serving your community. Good for you. Power for your community. Quiver River Electric. Owned by those we serve. This is the State Farm Insurance TripCast Halftime. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance agents Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Paul Shukart in Bowling Green. Here to help life go right, State Farm is there. First half scoring is brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. A.K. and Ken Feeds, Ask Road Account, Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. All right, first for the Bowling Green Bobcats, Kaleo Day just remaining the same after the first half, not scoring in the second quarter. He stays at 10 points. Cameron Worley picking up two threes in the second quarter with a total of eight on the night. Michael Starks just getting the three from the first quarter. Gavin Dieters getting three points off the free throw line in the second quarter. And George Niemeyer picking up one more off the free throw line to make it a score of 27 on the Bobcat side. And then over on the Ellsbury Indian side tonight, Jack St. Pierre picks up the two in the second quarter. Hunter Grills remains at three points. Derek Taylor picks up two more off the free throw line to make him a total of eight points tonight. Garrett Hill stays the same at five points. And that's all I got for a score of 18 on the Ellsbury side. And something you don't want to do uh – in the second half is uh, let uh, Ellsbury shoot a lot of free throws because yes. they're a very good free throw shooting team until we talk about it in the late in the in the half and then they they usually uh, start missing. Yep. But you know it's the the trip cast jinx. But uh, Bowling Green no no slouch, slouches uh, either from uh, the the free throw line. Um, so if it comes down to free throws, I'm not sure who would have the the edge in this one. But right now it's Bowling Green leading by nine through two quarters. And uh, this has been the State Farm Insurance TripCast Halftime Scoring, brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. And uh, we'll have the second half start after this on TripCast. No matter which team you're rooting for, Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford hopes all our area teams have a wonderful and successful season. Young Enterprise features A. Key and Kent Feeds, Asker on DeKalb Seeds, RCIS Crop Insurance, Fertilizer, Chemicals, Interstate Batteries, and more. 
visit online at youngenterprisesinc.com for more information. Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Pike County Hospice provides specialized high quality care and support to patients and their families facing a life limiting illness. We offer love, hope, and dignity at the end of life by offering a team approach consisting of physicians, skilled nurses, social workers, spiritual counselors, home health aides, and volunteers. We provide respite care for family and loved ones and offer 24 hour a day access to a hospice team. Pike County Hospice reduces financial stress on families and provides bereavement care to loved ones. The Pine County Health Department. Neighbors helping neighbors. Now more TripCast coverage of high school sports from the Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth. Bowling Green Tractor, your New Holland agriculture equipment dealer. 1201 Business, 61 South in Bowling Green. Start of the second half brought to you by Lacrosse Lumber Company. They have everything you need to start your next improvement project at a location close to you. Lacrosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. Underway in quarter number three. Car talk continues in front of us. And Bowling Green with that. Whoa! I'm, I, Ball doesn't lie. Ball doesn't lie. <laughs> Here's uh, Worley back the other way after that uh, missed traveling call. Ball goes to the floor. Rymel and Starks doing battle, and a tie-up will keep it with the Bobcats. <laughs> little chippy to start uh, quarter number three. Crowd still settling back in. And here Starks tipped into the corner for Kaleo Day. Day back out to Michael. Now Day in the corner again. Back to Starks. To Kaleo. Fake the baseline, comes back out. Plays catch with Bowen to the near side for Starks. Free throw line. To Kaleo for three. Short on that one. Worley had the rebound knocked away from him, and Dade gets it back. To Drew Bowen for the tray. That one's good. 30 to 18. Here comes Taylor across the line for the Indians. To Rymel. Rymel. Charge. Charge. Yeah, he lowered the shoulder. Yep. And uh, somehow Kaleo made himself light as a feather. Rymel slaps the floor. Yep. The jersey grab. You can tell that's when he starts getting frustrated, when he starts pulling on the front of his jersey like that. And a double dribble called on Drew Bowen. I think if, if Drew could have held his dribble there, Rymel would have picked up another foul pretty quick. Would have brought him to 4,000. That's something definitely that Coach Twelman does not want. Yeah, I'm surprised he's actually still in there at this point. 6-12 to play in the third. Bob pass to Anthony. Anthony back out to Taylor. Now to Rymel. Ball fake. Free throw line and a push called against the Bobcats. So foul for each side. Hill off the glass and in. Garrick Hill. Gets Ellsbury to 20 points. Worley flies across the lane, can't hit the shot. He got bumped and it went off to the left of the basket. Here's Rymel to Anthony. His shot over everything. Taylor, though, grabs the loose ball, makes some room and scores. Bowling Green lead down to eight. Four straight points for the Indians. Here's Worley. Far side for Drew Bowen. Back up to Starks. 
Michael bounces off a rival over to the far side for Bowen. Ball goes to the floor, picked up by Kaleo Dade. He's blocked, and Anthony gets the loose ball. Ellsbury can get a little closer now. And you see Bowling Green has switched to more of a man defensively. Turnaround shot. Good. Oh, man. Good spin move by Garrick Hill. The Bowling Green lead four. And Coach Brandon McCann calls a timeout. 4.33 to play. All Ellsbury here to start the second half. But Bowling Green still leads 30-24 to here on the People's Tribune.com. Good luck to the Bowling Green Bobcats and Lady Cats this week during the Bowling Green Invitational Tournament. Success is a team effort from our athletes, coaches, student body, and fans accomplished through hard work, talent, fine coaching, and tremendous community support. The Bowling Green Bobcat Athletic Boosters are committed to serving the student athletes of Bowling Green High School. Be sure to visit with any Booster Club member about how you can become a member yourself. Let's go Bobcats and best of luck from your Bowling Green Bobcats Booster Club. B&B Automotive, home of the $25 oil change up to 5 quarts of oil, is an ASE certified inspection station and offers complete automotive service at a very reasonable rate. Family owned and operated, B&B features low tire prices with many brands to choose from. Stop by or call B&B Automotive in Bowling Green, 573-470-8170. B&B Automotive, 812 West Main in Bowling Green. 4.33 left here in the third corner. Ellsbury making a run. Down just six. Bobcat ball from in front of the Ellsbury bench. Over to the far side, Drew Bowen. Bowen. Ducleo Dade and Anthony almost stole it. And a blocking foul against Ooh. Grills. Ellsbury's bench really liked the, the foul there. <laughs> Grills fell back, took out Rymel. Here's Starks to the near side. Cameron Worley back to Michael. Now for Cam again. Ooh, almost traveled, got it to Drew Bowen, then the pass tipped and stolen by Jake Rymel, he's ahead of the pack, in, score, and a foul. They're going to get Worley for a foul. The basket's good. Mm -mm. Nope. No, they did. They I called think they called the it before, on the floor. Really? That's interesting. That's a break for Bowling Green. Definitely. They're going to talk about it. Coach Twelman. Wants the ball. Even the Bowling Green people are saying that the basket should count. Now all three of them are talking about it. Midway point of the third quarter. Ellsbury has made the adjustments. And... They're going to say it's on the floor. Oh, my goodness. And it, that, uh, that is maddening to the Ellsbury fans. Even the Bowling Green fans are <laughs> disagreeing with the crew here. And now Coach Twelman asking for uh, – and he, uh, the disappointment shows on his face – Now he says, oh, do this play. Anthony, touch pass to Hill, and no, but a foul will send Garrick Hill to the line. The foul, the last foul was on Worley. This one on Niemeyer, his first. And sends Garrick Hill to the line. And the shot is good. 
And that draws a big cheer from the Ellsbury side. Almost a Bronx, Bronx chill to, uh, cheer to the officials. St. Pierre getting ready to check in after this shot, which is good. It's a four-point game. Back the other way, Cameron Worley. Starks back to Worley. To Niemeyer and out of bounds. And they say it was touched by an Indian. Over in the other gym, Winfield leads Silex 49 to 21. They've really opened things up. But Dade back to Worley for three. It's on the line. Looks good, yeah. 33-26. That's a boost for the Bobcats. St. Pierre thought about three, feeds it inside for Anthony. Oh, the thing, the uh, C's open for him there. And Trevor Anthony puts it in. All three de defenders for Bowling Green went the other oh, way. Oh, what a pass. Worley feeds Niemeyer for the score. 35-28. Five minutes gone here in the third. If the Bobcats can nail another three, they'll be pretty much right back where they were. Ellsbury needs something productive on this possession. Here's Hill. Over to the far side. Rimal short Way on the three. Off. Ahead and stolen back by Rimal. Nope, goes to the floor and Anthony picks it up. Two and a half to play. Third quarter here for the Bowling Green Invitational. Winner goes to the championship game. Bowling Green trying to get both their teams into the championship game. Ellsbury trying to avoid both their teams being in third place games. Stolen. Good behind the back dribble by Dade over to the far side. He feeds Worley to the hoop. No. Anthony the board. Stolen back. Dade. They're going to call a travel, I think. Nope. Foul on the far side. I really thought the uh, guy about, on the near side. I was, was going to say, on the near side, the official was starting to wave off the call. Yep. But he relented. The ball went in, so it will count and could be a three point play. And uh, again, the Ellsbury folks not happy on the far side. I think Twelman's close to. As Dade misses the free throw, Hill the rebound all the way ahead to Anthony. Across, Taylor, good. Seven point lead, minute 53 to go in the third. I think one more call and we might see a technical on the uh, roadside. Dade for three. Oh! Back to a 10 point lead. 40 to 30. Timeout taken by the Indians. Minute 31 to play in quarter number three. Bobcats back ahead by double digits on TripCast. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually... Be here. Agent Paul Shukar will be there for you. 1210 Business Highway 61 South in Bowling Green. Online at mybowlinggreenagent.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Whether you're ready for a retirement home or care recovering from a hospital stay or surgery, Lynn's Heritage House in Louisiana can provide assisted living to keep you active, safe, and healthy. Lynn's Heritage House is the only locally owned and operated long-term care facility in Pike County offering a beautiful country setting, private and semi-private rooms, low resident to staff ratio, and is Medicare accepted with an RN available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Elegant, affordable, assisted living. Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana. Here's Taylor over to the far side for Rimal. Rimal feeds it in the corner for St. Pierre. Jack back out to Jake. Now Garrick Hill short for three. Something we rarely see. Yeah, Niemeyer picked up the loose ball, gave it to Dade. 
Ball goes off a foot to, ooh, I lost track of it for I was a second. Say, I don't know Hill, how that stayed in, but. Hill comes back the other side with it, and he's fouled. We'll head to the line. Big claps from Garrick Hill. Fifty six point nine seconds to go in the third. And the shot is no good. Foul is on Niemeyer is second. Grills comes back in for Rimel. And the second shot is good. Nine-point game. Here's Worley. Feeds it down low. Niemeyer. Niemeyer trying to find his way. He's blocked. Gets it to Dade. Here's Gavin Dieters. Bounces down low. Niemeyer blocked, but a foul this time on Garrick Hill. 41.5 seconds to go in quarter number three. Fouls the fourth for the Indians, second on Garrick Hill. And the shot for Niemeyer is short. Barely grazed the iron. Mound coming in. It will replace Hunter Grills. St. Pierre switches spots with Taylor. Anthony stays in the backcourt. And the shot this time is good to restore the 10-point lead. 40 seconds to go in the corner. St. Pierre off his fingertips out of bounds. Far side, here's Dade. Man far North Callaway, the second game here from the high school gym. Chuck and April have the consolation semis. The first one not going the way Silex wanted against uh, Winfield. The second one will be Louisiana and Clothin. Down to three seconds over to the far side. Mound, spinning three. No, we've played three quarters here in the championship semifinals of the Bowling Green Invitational. Bowling Green up. We'll have the fourth when we come back on TripCast. Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction, your high-quality one-two punch to knock out tough building projects. Bowling Green Ready Mix for all your concrete and concrete supplies and the only plant locally owned and operated. And Kearns Construction for new homes, remodeling jobs, repair work, and even snow removal. Just call 324-3433 and let the friendly, knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction Company go to work for you. It's time to button up the house to protect against winter's elements. Your local lacrosse lumber company is your weatherization leader with doors, windows, and a full line of Owens Corning insulation. Don't hesitate. Insulate. You'll save on your heating and cooling bills year-round. For prices on Owens Corning insulation, visit your local lacrosse lumber company today. Savings may vary. Lacrosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. Scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Ken Feeds, Ask Run the Calp Seeds. <laughs> Crop insurance and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. All right, first for the Bowling Green Bobcats, Kaleo Dade picks up five more points in the third quarter to make him a 15-point night. Cameron Worley picks up another three in the third to give him 11 points on tonight. Drew Bowen gets a three in the third quarter to make it three points on the night for him. Michael Starks picks up, just remains at three. Excuse me, Gavin Dieters remains at three as well. And then George Niemeyer picks up three to make him a six-point night to have 41 on the Bobcats side. And over on the Ellsbury Indian side, Jack St. Pierre remains at two. Hunter Grills remains at three. Derek Taylor picks four to make it a four-point night for him. Garrick Hill continues his long stretch of uh, in-the-paint shots to make it a 12-point night for him. Trevor Anthony has two as well for 31. Well, there's two more for Trevor Anthony. 
Scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Ken Feeds, Ask Around Calum Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. Got me a second time. Curse you, DeKalb. Kaleo Dade spinning. The lead, eight. Off the foot of Dieters, back to Cameron Worley. Couldn't have worked out better for the Bobcats there. Oh, good move. Go to the hoop, and Niemeyer finishes. Great passing for Bowling Green. Taylor playing catch with Anthony to get across the line. They just do. Down to 6.35 to play. Skip pass, hits the support, and it's going back to the Bobcats. I have never seen that. <laughs> How many games have I done in this gym? I've never seen a cross-court pass hit that support system before. Wow. That's a high arcing pass there. I've seen shots bounce up and hit it, <laughs> but never a pass. Kaleo for three, short this time. Worley the rebound, good spin move off the yep. contact from Hill, and he scores, long pass ahead, off the hands of Anthony, and it's, uh, they're gonna say Ellsbury ball, that was solely off it, of Trevor Anthony, but I think uh, they're letting the contact from Kaleo go. Yeah. I'll take it. Would have been his third personal yeah. if, we're, if the foul were to go. See if they try a cross-court pass here. Grills for Rimel, now for Garrick Hill. Hill, back to Rimel. Grills on the far side, 5.50 to play. Good passing, get it to Anthony, he scores. Trevor Anthony makes it a 10-point game. Anthony's starting to pick it up in this second half. And a foul whistled on Rimel, is that three? Three or four. It's four, isn't it? Four. Yeah. 5.38 left in the game. 15 foul. And the fourth on Jake Rimel. Niemeyer, bounce pass corner. Worley, three. A little long on that one. And the rebound pulled down by Garrick Hill. Long pass ahead for Derek Taylor. Stolen back by Cameron Worley. Find the back dribble, trying to find space. Oh, a charge. He was moving away from the man, and Cameron Worley charged with a foul. Forty-five, thirty-five. I mean, he had his arm against his side. Yeah. Was maneuvering away it, from the player. It seemed like he jumped. Didn't even try and fall down for it like yeah. a normal charging yeah. routine. He just jumped. <laughs> <laughs> and the Academy Award goes to. Here's Rimel. Got away with a little palm in the ball there. Taylor goes back up and scores. 45-37. Dieters over to the far side for Worley. Now into the corner for Kaleo Dade. There's the fifth foul. That's it. Whoa. Rimel fouls out and almost picked up his sixth. By slamming the ball down. Especially right in front of the Bowling Green bench. And the official. And away from the ball, we have a foul. Another foul against Ellsbury. And that's against Anthony. That's his third. Chippy, chippy, chippy. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is it? Uh -oh. Well, how do you like that? Coach Twelman calls Derek Taylor over to talk about it. Gavin Dieters meeting with Brandon McCann. 
And Cameron Worley goes to the line. And he rims out the front half of the one and one. Here's Garrick Hill, 4.30 to play. Just an eight point game. So the near side of Hill gets it to Mound. Joel Mound back to Garrick Hill, working against Kaleo and a foul gonna be whistled. I think it's gonna be on Worley. Yep, Cameron. Be That's his third. Oh, they got him for four. So he's in some trouble. Still half a quarter to play. And the first shot's no good for Garrick Hill. He wanted that one, too. Two points would have been huge here. Yep. Coming down the stretch right here with the 417 on the clock. These are free throws that they're just a must. Yep. Makes the second one. 45-38. So a seven-point game. And a foul on Joel Mound. So Gavin Dieters goes to the line for a one and one. Eighth team foul against the Indians. And just a second on Joel Mound. Rims it out. Now Ellsbury gets the ball back. To the near side, Hunter Grills. Grills into the corner for Hill. Skips it across to Eric Taylor. Walks his way to the hoop. He never put the ball on the floor at all. It's tied up and a timeout taken by Ellsbury. So they'll keep the ball. 349 to play in the fourth. Bowling Green 45, Ellsbury 38 on TripCast. For over 90 years, Calvert's General Insurance has protected homeowners, farmers, and area drivers from life's unexpected incidents. This is Tim Gamm. Here at Calvert's General Insurance, we offer insurance from multiple companies to find you the best coverage at the best price. Call us at 573-324-2321 for a free quote. Calvert's General Insurance, on the square in Bowling Green. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TripCast is brought to you in part by Pike County Title Company, Hayden's Motorsports Center, Abel's Quick Shops, Craig Bowen CPAs, Rawls County Mutual Insurance, Ingram Plumbing, DH Electric, by Saints Avenue Cafe, Lincoln County Technical Skills and Services, Wood Smoke Meats, Twin City Bowl, and by Northeast Missouri Title Company. More Bowling Green tournament action is coming up. This is TribCast. TribCast video from the Bowling Green Tournament brought to you by shelter insurance agent Tim Jenkins in Louisiana. Let Tim Jenkins show you how insuring your home and auto with shelter insurance can save you money. Chad Twelman has used his timeouts uh, in some pretty key spots to keep possessions here in the uh, second half. And Hill. Oh. Traveled. No, they're going to call a foul. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. He shuffled his way to contact, and Jake Rimel on the Ellsbury bench loves it. Third foul on George Niemeyer on what should have been a travel. Well, when both sides are mad... I guess it's more okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was starting to see from the Ellsbury side, but with these last few calls, yeah. it, it's starting to mix in both sides yeah. of the ball. And Hill missed them both. So the freebies, he's not able to convert on. And here's Gavin Dieters for Bowling Green over to the far side. He gives it to Kaleo Dade. Taylor out on him, gives it to Starks. Starks to Worley. Worley lost control and a foul whistled. They said his control loss was helped out. It was induced by the fourth foul on Trevor Anthony. And here's Cameron Worley at the line. And he makes the first. 
Back to an eight point lead. Could go to nine from the line. Missed it. Rebound to Garrick Hill. Hill to the near side for mound. Back to Grills. He has trouble with it. Back to Garrick Hill. Skips it back out to Anthony. They'll reset. 3.15 to play. Now for Joel Mound. Derek Taylor in the corner. 3.07 on the clock. Mound to Hill over to the far side for Grills. Now for Taylor. Grills for three. Good. Hunter Grills. That's what they were looking for. It took a lot of time to get it, but it's a five-point game. Here's Worley. Free throw line. Kicks it down. Niemeyer blocked. Taylor gets the ball. Ball to the floor, and it is tied up. And it's going to stay with the Bobcats with 2.39 on the clock. Gladney back in. Bo Henry back in. Mound checks out. Worley to inbound. Here's Gavin Dieters. Dieters, bounce pass for Kaleo Data over to the far side for Cameron Worley. Now for George Niemeyer. Niemeyer off the glass, no good. Rebound picked up by Starks. His shot, no good. Another one batted to the corner, and Taylor comes away with it. Five-point game. Here's Grills. Yes, five straight points for Hunter Grills. And the lead down to three. Was the biggest lead 12 or 14 for the Bobcats? Oh, it was, I believe it was 12. I remember it being 10. Yeah. A foul whistled against the Indians with 2.01 on the clock. And it's the first on Eli Gladney. And Dieter's at the line. His first shot is good. 47-43. Well, those two showed up for free baby night and got two. <laughs> that was last night, though. They must have brought him back. Shot good. He made them both. Back to a five-point game. Anthony works it around. Now for Taylor. Derek to Hunter Grills and a timeout taken by Ellsbury with a minute 41 to play. We'll take a break too. 48 43. Bowling Green leads Ellsbury here in the championship semifinals of the Bowling Green tournament on TripCast. Hello, this is Mary Millen from Community State Bank of Missouri. Some financial institutions make you go through a lot of red tape to get a loan. At Community State Bank, we try to keep things simple. When you talk with us, you're talking to the people who make decisions. Next time you need a loan for whatever reason, come see us. You'll be glad you did. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887. Equal housing lender. The Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon reminds you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. 141 to play in regulation. It's a five-point Bowling Green lead. Ellsbury with the ball. Looking for that three again, I'm sure. Taylor to Grills on the far side. He's got five straight points for the Indians. Back to Taylor. Taylor back up top. Here's the three. High arcing. No good. Kaleo comes away with the rebound for the Bobcats. Ahead, Gavin Dieters. Dieters. And... He is hurtled by Garrick Hill. 
big man <laughs> can jump. <laughs> and uh, he was able to slide on his back. <laughs> which is better than sliding on your head. Dieters hits the free throw, 49-43. Gavin Dieters has just been on it on the free throw line. That's the only shots he's been making tonight. Second one rims out, you jinxed him. Ah. And here comes Taylor back the other way. Six point Bobcat lead with a minute 15 to play. Hill to the baseline for Taylor. Shot, no good. Rebound comes out, grills to Hill for three. Good. Garrick Hill with a tray. All those shots we see him take, we finally see it go through. Starks, good moves to get across the line. Lost control momentarily against Grills, and he's tripped up by Hunter Grills. Grills can't believe the call, but it's not a bad foul to take with 51.7 seconds to go, and it's just his second. Starks at the line. Has he been there tonight? Nope. So first trip. And the shot is short. Starks, just a sophomore at 5'10". Three points tonight? Yep. 49-46. Those three points we can say are the difference in this ball game. Second there one's it is. good. He's got four. The lead is four for the Bobcats with 47 seconds on the clock. Here's Taylor. Back. Hill. Three. Short. Tipped. They've been tipped, yeah. Taylor's putback is good. Two-point game. Timeout taken by the Bobcats. Good spot for it. 35.2 seconds to go. In regulation, Bowling Green 50, Ellsbury 48 on TribCast. Mid-America Auto and Towing, filled with quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Mid-America Auto and Towing, complete automotive service, including tires with wholesale pricing and 24-hour towing. Mid-America Auto and Towing, financing for everyone. Buy here and pay here on select models. Mid-America Auto and Towing, a no-hassle, positive car buying experience on West Main in Bowling Green and online at midamericaautoandtowing.com. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. But with an active lifestyle of sports comes health risks and safety hazards. As a certified athletic trainer at PCMH, I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. We can make a difference between safe play and dangerous injuries for your athletes. Working with Clopton, Bowling Green, and Louisiana schools, our goal is to provide the best outcome for your athletes. I'm Eric Schaefer, certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital. We're at work while your athletes are at play. 50 to 48, Bobcats with the lead in the ball, 35.2 seconds to go. Can't turn it over. Definitely not. <laughs> Bowling Green, it's been a few years ago, but Ellsbury had a dramatic comeback against the Bobcats in this tournament. I think that'll be remembered for a long oh time. Oh, my goodness. Ball goes to the floor, out of bounds, and whose ball? Bowling Green ball, 28.8. On the clock. Oh, man. So, if you get it in the backcourt, take the whole 10 seconds to get across the line, you only have 18.8 left to kill. Really? Took about a third of that to get across the line. Here's Dieters. They're going to have to foul at some Coach point. Coach Trollman's asking for a foul, and there he gets finally there. And he points up at the yep. scoreboard like, why did you wait so long? And did they call intentional? They want intentional. Was that Dylan Henderson uh, down there? Yep. <laughs> Wanting the intentional foul. It's Dieters at the line. And the first one is good. Three-point game. Oh, to make it a two-possession. Gavin Dieters, six-foot junior, and a... Substitution, St. Pierre coming back in for Bo Henry. Big 
shot for Gavin. Got there it both. is. And a two-possession game. 52-48, 18.5 on the clock. No timeout after. I think they did one more substitution. Grills comes out. That was kind of their, in lieu of a timeout, will make a long, confusing substitution. Almost a travel. Here's Hill, stripped, but a foul. So now there's 11.7 seconds on the clock. You make the first, right? You miss the second, get the rebound, pop it out for three, and we're tied. That's the plan. It's going to be the third foul on Gavin Dieters tonight. Made the oh. first. <laughs> so the lead for the Bobcats is three. 52-49. Missed it. Kaleo the rebound. He's fouled. Three-point game, 9.4 on the clock. And it's a two-shot foul. Tenth team. Kaleo Dade. Almost looks like the old days with all the people on the baseline right now. And he makes the is. first off the back iron, up and in. It's a four-point game, and that could. Uh, I'd say if he gets this next one, it'll seal the deal. It's curtains already. Two possession game, 9.4 on the clock. You get to go the full length of the floor in there. You're out of timeouts. Yep. Second shot. He missed it. Clock running. Down to eight, seven, six. Taylor kicks it out. Nope, not going to have time now for two possessions. Oh, he made the shot oh, and the foul. Oh, 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 my goodness. But you got to miss it. Cleo. Cleo Dade telling everybody to get up. Get up, get up. Gets the three-point play. It's a one-point game. Right now, the Bowling Green lead is 2.9 seconds. So you got to miss, get the tip yep. up to tie. And a timeout taken. We'll take one, two on TripCast. Have you been frustrated by slow internet available where you live? Great news. Now you have a choice. Viasat Internet has just rolled out brand new fast internet plans available in your area. Call your local internet expert, Cellular and Satellite Center today. Standard installation is free and they can usually get you installed in three to five days. Don't put up with slow internet any longer. Call Cellular and Satellite Center at 573-324-3722. Terms and restrictions apply. See Viasat.com for details. The Bib Beach Funeral Homes, LLC of Bowling Green and Silex and Collier Funeral Home in Louisiana are proud to sponsor our area high school teams and wish everyone success this season. Uplifting and comforting, Bib Beach Funeral Homes and Collier Funeral Home will help you celebrate the life of your loved one. Proud to be of service, visit online at bibbeach.com or collierfuneral.com. A personal touch can mean so much. Bib Beach Funeral Homes, Bowling Green and Silex and Collier Funeral Home in Louisiana. Taylor at the line, down two. Point nine seconds on the clock. He's got to miss and get the tip up. That's the only way Ellsbury can, can uh, continue this game. Miss and a tip back off the backboard. Five point five seconds to go. They didn't get it. Kaleo got it. There's a foul. <laughs> and Bowling Green going to, well, no foul. They said it didn't hit the rim, so the shot doesn't count. So they have to put point nine back on there, right? If there was no shot, there's yep, no runoff. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, you got to make contact with the rim. Backboard doesn't count. Twine doesn't count. He went too hard off, and they do reset it to point nine seconds. So now you got to get the steal and tip up. So really, Bowling Green could just throw it in the vicinity of half court. 
just not hard enough that it's going to go out of bounds out the far end to where the inbound would return. Dieters is tasked with getting the ball in over Bo Henry. Bo Henry, the biggest option they have. Got to get those legs working. They get it in. There it Bowling is. Over. Bowling Green going to the championship. Taylor, uh, Hill ended up taking out his own cheerleaders, sliding through, and Bowling Green escapes to go to the championship game. And wow, what a semifinal, 53-51. Cue up the fight song. Bowling Green's going to play for both the men's and ladies' championships here at the 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational. We'll be back with the Bowling Green Ready Mix Tripcast postgame after this on thepeoplestribune.com. At Bowling Green Lumber Company, they have everything you need to tackle that home improvement job. From foundation to roof and the complete interior, Bowling Green Lumber can supply all your building needs. They don't call Bowling Green Lumber the most complete building center in the area for nothing. Stop in for siding, hardware, doors, windows, paint, plywood, drywall, treated lumber, ceilings, tools, insulation, and much more. Bowling Green Lumber, 7th and Champ Clark Drive, phone 324-5400. Other people are trying to make money, we're just trying to make friends. Bowling Green Lumber. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TripCast is brought to you in part by Shelter Insurance Agent Frank Wallace in Vandalia, by State Representative Jim Hansen, the Clopton Hawks Booster Club, Frankfurt Farm Supply, by PJ's Salon, Perkins Electrical Service, Silex Banking Company, Spring Valley Accounting Service, Magruder Limestone Company, Country View Nursing Facility, and by Central Bank of Audrain County. More Bowling Green Tournament action is coming up. This is TribCast. When you contract with a local company, you're sure to receive friendly, professional service. And that's just what you'll get with Orf Construction. A homegrown company, Orf Construction specializes in residential and commercial projects. A state-certified septic installer, Orf's offers backhoe, skid steer, and excavation services. Call 324-3552 for your next project. And remember, Orf's does basements, grading, and much more. Orf Construction in Bowling Green. It's time for the Bowling Green Ready Mix Trip Pass Post Game. Brought to you by Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction. Your high quality one two punch to knock out building projects. And before we get uh, the player of the game and the uh, winning coach up here, let's get a final check of the scoring as Bowling Green wins this one 53 51. Brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. All right, first for the winning Bowling Green, Bobcats Clay O'Dade having a great night. He finishes up with 16 points. Cameron Worley finishes up with 14. Drew Bowen picks up three. Michael Starks ends the night with four points. Gavin Dieters ends the night with eight points. A bunch in the fourth quarter from the free throw line. He was stellar tonight, only missing two, actually three shots from the free throw line out of so many chances. And George Niemeyer finishes with eight. And then over on the Ellsbury side, Jack St. Pierre finishes up with two points. Hunter Grills finishes up with eight. Derek Taylor finishes with 18. He had a great night still with the point wise. Garrick Hill finishes with 17. And Trevor Anthony finishes with six to make it a final score, 53-51. to 51. Let's uh, pass that uh, headset along and get our Community State Bank TripCast player of the game in. Cameron Worley is scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Uh, Cam, uh, 14 points tonight, but that, uh, that wasn't the, the, the big thing. You, you got the win. You held off Ellsbury. Uh, Ellsbury had a huge comeback just a few years ago. Uh, a miracle comeback against the Bobcats. Uh, you guys hold it off this time. Well, what's what's going on on the floor in the last 30 seconds of that game? I mean, our defense, we just held together. Uh, we kept our mindset, and we just got after it. Forced turnovers and made free throws. That's what wins games. Uh, I, I, I won't say anything about officiating, but there was a lot, lot going on out there. How do you guys keep your composure uh, when you're battling that sort of adversity and uh, an Ellsbury team that can – can uh, get chippy and, and get kind of nasty out there. We just got to know what's next. I mean, uh, winning this game goes on to the championship, so doing anything stupid, I mean, holds us back. Can't go to the championship. And uh, now Bowling Green boys, Bowling Green girls, both playing for championships at the home tournament. Uh, how, how big is that? It? That's pretty amazing. Pretty cool. Well, congratulations on the win tonight, Cam, and uh, we'll see you on uh, Saturday. Thank you. That's our Community State Bank TripCast player of the game, Cameron Worley. And, uh, uh, Coach, um, that's what the Bowling Green tournament's all about right there. That uh, that last quarter is pretty exciting. Yeah, I told the guys from the get-go, 
when you have a competitive game, you have fun when you're up, and that's what it came down to. It was a competitive game. You know, hats off to Ellsbury. They played a hell of a game. They came back on us, and, you know, they really put it to us in the post. But, you know, our guys fought through that, and we, luckily we came out with, uh, with the win. Uh, you guys uh, were really uh, collapsing down in the first half, making things real frustrating for uh, for their bigs. Um, what changed? Uh, I, I know Coach Twelman uh, is a very good tactical coach. Uh, uh, what did he do different in the second half? I think he adjusted to our defense because we were constantly changing from man to zone, mm-hmm. and he adjusted pretty well to that. And he, you know, he got the ball inside to his bigs, and then eventually we would break down on defense, and they'd get layups and you know and ones out of it. So. He adjusted really well, and, you know, I, I, again, I'm just going to congratulate my team on fighting uh, through what we had to go through to win, and um, I just can't thank them enough for what they've done. Yeah, holding their composure in a game like that uh, was was huge. Uh, so uh, I'll say I'll ask you the same question I, I, I asked Cam. Uh, both the boys and the girls in the championship game, how, how important was that uh, for, for you guys uh, uh, as a collective coaching group to, to get both teams in the championship game? I think we both need it. Like I said, we play – we're off two weeks. Yeah. And, you know, these are like our first, our first two games back. So, you know, it's great for both of us. Um, you know, we're going to obviously prepare for whoever wins this game. And, you know, with uh, the girls, we're preparing for Clopton. So, we're going to do what we need to do and hopefully come out with a win in the championship. Well, we're one step closer to that uh, Bowling Green Van Farr uh, title game like yeah. we talked about the other night. Congratulations, Coach. Uh, we'll see you in the championship on uh, Saturday. That's uh, Coach Brandon McCann here in the uh, Bowling Green Ready Mix uh, TripCast postgame and our Community State Bank TripCast player of the game, Cameron Worley, with 14 points tonight. Not the leading score, but a very important score uh, for uh, Bowling Green, and uh, he was all over the place uh, tonight in the uh, win over the Ellsbury Indians. We'll take a break, come back with your starting lineups. Uh, we'll go from the uh, Bowling Green Ready Mix TripCast postgame to the Quiver River Electric Cooperative TripCast pregame for our second championship semifinal as Van Farr and North Callaway do battle next on TripCast. Are you looking for a subcompact tractor with massive working potential and comfort? That's the Kubota BX Series. Haul, mow, dig, plow, all from the comfort of America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Take home a dependable BX80 now with financing as low as 0% APR for up to 84 months, plus great customer instant rebates and a six-year warranty. Your authorized Kubota dealer in Bowling Green is Meyer Implement Company. Business Highway 61 North. Offer now through March 31st, 2018. See us or go to Kubota USA for more information. Meyer Implement Company. We have appreciate your business. Nothing outworks an F-Series. Nothing outsells an F-Series. No matter what you're doing, Ford trucks are the trucks the guys and gals who do the hardest work depend on. Don't miss the great deals on America's best-selling brand. Hurry into Pogue Ford today for great deals on new and used vehicles. Whether you're looking for a car, SUV, or truck, Pogue Ford has you covered. Visit soon at Pogue Ford, Business 61 South in Bowling Green, or visit online at PogueFord.com. Pogue Ford, where they treat their customers like friends and family. At Nutrient Ag Solutions in Bowling Green, they are focused on one thing and one thing only, providing their customers with the products and services they need to produce the best yield possible. Nutrient Ag Solutions offers Dynagrow and other brands of seed, ag chemicals, bulk and package, custom blend fertilizer, custom application, anhydrous, as well as expert advice and service. Nutrient Ag Solutions, with two locations in Bowling Green on Pike 291 and Business Highway 61 North. Nutrient Ag Solutions. It's time for the Quiver River Electric TribCast pregame. Brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. And welcome back to Bowling Green High School. Exciting start to the night as Bowling Green beats Ellsbury to make it to the uh, Bowling Green Tournament Championship game, joining the uh, Bowling Green Lady Cats in that title game. It'll be Bowling Green Clopton tomorrow night. Who will the Bobcats take on in the men's championship on Saturday? We'll be Van Farr, North Callaway, you would say. Uh, Van Farr uh, holds the edge in this game, the defending uh, state champions. But North Callaway upset them earlier this year in a double overtime game at uh, North Callaway High School. So uh, we'll see uh, which uh, Van Farr team comes out and if uh, North Callaway can match the effort they put into that victory uh, back in early December. That was an early season uh, win for North Callaway over Van Farr. All right, 
Let's uh, take a quick look at our starting lineups, our Pike County Health Department TripCast starting lineups. Check out all their services at pikecountyhealth.org. The Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice, caring for our communities. And the starters for the number three seed, North Callaway Thunderbirds. They're 13-3 and three on the season, coached by Matt Miller. They'll start a sophomore at 5'7", number two, Cody Cash. Number three, uh, 5'7", junior Gabe Cash gets the start tonight. Senior at six foot one, number twelve Dawson Wright, a uh, six three senior, number fifteen Kobe Kellerman, and rounding out the starting five, a six three senior, number thirty five Mark Hollenberg. So again, it's Cash, Cash, Wright, Kellerman, and Hollenberg, the starters for the T Birds. For the Van Far Indians, ten and five on the season, coached by Pat Conaway. They're the number two seed and the defending uh, tournament champions and Class Two state champions. They'll start number zero, a six-foot junior, Verdell Johnson. Six-three junior, number four, Colin Wilburn gets the start tonight. A six-two senior, number ten, Caden Wilburn. Number twenty, a six-five senior, Berlin Johnson, and a six-two senior, number thirty-four, Trey Miller gets the start tonight. So again, it's Verdell Johnson, Berlin Johnson, Colin Wilburn, Caden Wilburn, and Trey Miller. So two uh, Johnsons, two Wilburns, and a Miller. Here to start for the Van Far Indians. And those are your Pike County Health Department TribCast starting lineups. The Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice caring for our communities. And our game officials brought to you by Mr. Referee himself, Dennis McMillan of Center Locker Service. Farm raised in deer meat processing, local beef and pork products, jerky, meat sticks, and more at Center Locker Service and centerlocker.com. And your uh, officials, same three-man crew, Brad Mitchell, Steve Dunahue, and Dolph Schellenberg. Again, Mitchell, Donahue, and Schellenberg, your three-man officiating crew tonight, brought to you by Center Locker Service in Center, Missouri, centerlocker.com. About five minutes ago before we tip this one off, we'll take a break, come back with basketball here from the 94th Bowling Green Invitational. It's the Indians and the Thunderbirds, and it's coming up next to see who takes on Bowling Green in the championship on TribCast. This is TribCast, celebrating 10 years of champions. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on the peoplestribune.com is brought to you by Bowling Green Tractor, Quiver River Electric Cooperative, the Pike County Health Department Home Health and Hospice, by State Farm Insurance Agents Paul Shucard in Bowling Green, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia, by La Crosse Lumber Company. Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction, Community State Banks of Missouri, Young Enterprises Incorporated, by Center Locker Service, Shelter Insurance Agent Tim Jenkins in Louisiana, the Law Office of Briscoe and Brannon, Pike County Memorial Hospital, by b, &B Automotive, Sparks Maintenance Contracting Heating and Cooling, Cellular and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, by Mid-America Auto and Towing, the Bid Beach Funeral Homes LLC and Collier Funeral Home in Louisiana. Your County Market Grocery Stores in Vandalia and Louisiana. Meyer Implement Company. Orf Construction. The Bowling Green Bobcat Booster Club. By Bowling Green Lumber Company. Lynn's Heritage House. Calvert's General Insurance. By Nutrient Ag Solutions. Danny Orf General Contracting. McMailer and Sons Excavation and more. Airco Travel Centers. Cole Chiropractic Center. The Van Bar Indians Booster Club. Liggins Flooring in Bowling Green. By Pogue Four. Family Health Pharmacies. Pike County Title Company. Hayden's Motorsports Center. By Abel's Quick Shops. Craig Bowen CPAs. Rawls County Mutual Insurance. Ingram Plumbing in Bowling Green by D.H. Electric, Saints Avenue Cafe, Lincoln County Technical Skills and Services, Wood Smoke Meats, Twin City Bowl, Northeast Missouri Title Company, Shelter Insurance Agents Brent Brandstetter in Bowling Green and Frank Wallace in Vandalia, by Missouri State Representative Jim Hansen, the Clopton Hawks Booster Club, Frankfurt Farm Supply, by P.J. Salon, Perkins Electrical Service, Spring Valley Accounting Service, Silex Banking Company, Magruder Limestone, by Country View Nursing Facility, 
the Louisiana Bulldog Booster Club, and Lane Boutique, Central Bank of Autrain County, Maple Grove Lodge Nursing Home, by Central Elevator in Silex, Niemeyer Family Farms, Midwest Pest Control, Denise Leverett of RP Lane Company, U Brain Construction, J Herd Tree Service, Hanky Construction Company, and by Baragiola Hardware and Lumber. Now, coverage of the 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational Basketball Tournament from the People's Tribune newspaper. This is TripCast. Welcome back to the 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational here on TribCast. Mark Fronick here in the Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth. Jason Orr has moved down to the student section to enjoy this uh, Van Far, very important Van Far game against uh, North Calloway. The winner will take on the Bowling Green Bobcats in the tournament championship coming up on Saturday night. We'll take a quick break, come back with your opening tip after this on thepeoplestribune.com. And now, big news from your area flooring headquarters, Ligon's Flooring in Bowling Green. They're proud to announce three new lines of vinyl click-together flooring that look absolutely fantastic with Ligon's quality installation with over 20 years experience. Whether you need carpet, hardwood, ceramic, laminate, vinyl, or tile, call Mike or Shelley at 573-324-3030. Oh, and don't forget, Ligon's Flooring is the only Dreamweaver carpet distributor in the area. Ligon's Flooring in Bowling Green. This year, join the thousands of customers Center Locker Service has made happy for over 60 years. Invest this year's tax return in a full freezer with locally raised top quality meats from Center Locker. Take home a half or whole hog or beef and enjoy delicious meals for months and months. While you're at Center Locker, check out their house line of beef sticks, summer sausage, jerky, dogs, and brats. Make that big barbecue or family dinner extra special with Center Locker Service. 1-800-884-0737 or Center Locker.com. Now more TribCast coverage of high school sports from the Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth. Bowling Green Tractor, new and used equipment, parts and service, 1201 Business 61 South in Bowling Green. Players have been introduced. Time for our opening tip brought to you by Lacrosse Lumber Company. Everything you need to tip off your next improvement project at a location close to you. Lacrosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. Berlin Johnson to jump center against uh, Cash. That's Cody Cash, I believe. Bolt, or, uh, Van Farr wins the opening toss. And they take it into the corner. Sorry, someone changed the number. I got to figure out who it is. Start the game here. As the shot is up and good. Johnson. It is the one who scored, Verdell. Good start to the game here from the uh, second semifinal. From the corner, they try and work it into the middle, and that shot is short. Merlin Johnson with the rebound for the Indians. Verdell brings it up. That shot from the far side, no good. Trey Miller the rebound. Near side, no good. And the rebound this time pulled down by number 12, Dawson Wright. Dropping off for number 15, Kobe Kellerman. That shot no good. And it is Gabe Cash that changed his number. So, had him as three, he's five. Now we're good. That shot, Berlin, no good. Put back, and he's fouled, and Berlin Johnson will head to the line. 
6.18 to play in the first quarter. First foul for either side. And the shot is good. Settled on the back iron, then rolled down. Make it 3-0. First point for Verlin. Second shot for Johnson. In and out. And on the rebound, who's the foul going to be on? Going to call it on Colin Wilburn, I think. So one foul aside. And a 3 nothing Van Farr lead. Here's Gabe Cash. Cash hands it off for Wright. Wright goes to the hoop and scores. Dawson Wright makes it a one-point game. To the near side. Three for Wilburn, no good. Punch back, no good. And the rebound picked up by Caden Wilburn. To Verdell on the near side. That shot, no good. And the rebound tipped out of bounds. It's going to be Van Farball with 5.43 to play. He'll be inbounded on the near sideline, and Caden Wilburn the one to do it. Here's for Lynn Johnson. Back to Caden Wilburn. Caden. Out to the high point. Far side for Vernell. Vernell. Puts his guys in motion. To Wilburn on the far side. That's Caden. Corner for Trey Miller. Miller steps out for three and hits it. Trey Miller. Six to two. Back the other way, Gabe Cash. Cash kicks it out and then hits the deck. They go from the baseline. That shot no good. Cash, the rebound is good. Gabe Cash, the little guy, puts two in. Here's Tracy Coel up top. Wilburn for three, no. Put back, Verdell, no. Verlin, yes. Verlin Johnson. Third chance points there for Van Farr to make it 8-4. to 4.30 to play here in the first quarter. Here's Gabe Cash for three. That one rims out on him. And the rebound, a long one for Caden Wilbur. Coel now into the corner to Trey Miller. Not a clean pass. Got it back to Trayson. Up top and around to Verdell Johnson. Verdell to Verlin. Berlin puts it on the floor once, scores, and is fouled. Berlin already with five points here in the first quarter. And a 10 to 4 or a Van Far lead. Down the hall, Louisiana and Clopton doing battle to see who will take on Winfield in the consolation game. Shot no good on the free throw. And it'll be Gabe Cash taking it up the floor with a pass to Dawson Wright. Wright to the near side for Kellerman. Cody Cash with it. Cody to Gabe. Now to Wright, top of the key, three, good. Dawson Wright with a tray. Making a three-point game. Here's Verdell. Over to Caden Wilburn. Back to Burdell. He floats. Can't get it to stick in. And the rebound out of bounds. Last touch by the Indians. 3.27 to play. Here in quarter number one from the Bowling Green Invitational. And change is coming. Tanner Taylor comes in for Cody Cash. Gabe Cash with it in the backcourt for North Callaway. Angles to the far side. Now comes back near side. Tracing Quell out to defend. 
Cash to the hoop. Good, and a foul. He could tie the game with a free throw here. He's got four points. Three oh seven left in the first quarter. And the shot is no good. Rebound picked up by Sam Middleton for the Indians. Set air side for Vernell. Back to Sam over to the far side for Caden Wilburn. Wilburn into the corner for Trey Miller. Miller back up top for Middleton. Now for Wilburn. To Dylan Miner. That shot no good. And the rebound picked up by Kobe Kellerman for North Callaway. Quickly up the floor and then kicked out of bounds by Tanner Taylor. Back to the Van Farr Indians with a one-point lead. Burnell Johnson with 2.40 to go in the first quarter. Gets it to Dylan Miner. Now to Trey Miller. Back to Dylan. He traveled. Miner travels. And it'll be the North Callaway ball. And Cash takes it across the floor. Gabe to the near point for Noah Scrogum. Cash had it go off his foot. Now he turns and takes the three and scores. Wow, North Callaway with a lead. Seven points for Gabe Cash. Answer? Yes. Sam Middleton with a tray. And far ahead by a point. Minute 50 to go in the first quarter. Cash with it. Into a double team over to the far side. Gets it to Cody Lee. Back to Cash. Cash blocked, but a foul going to be whistled on Caden Wilburn. His first and the team's third with a minute 32 to go in the first quarter. Cash is a matchup problem. Small and stout, but he's got a million and one moves and can hit for just about any angle. He gets a free throw there to tie the game at 13. Three substitutions coming in for North Callaway. Coach Pat Conaway's been mixing it up uh, little by little. Not the full line changes that we're used to. And he missed the second. Minor the rebound. And here comes number 35, Riley Hanson. Hanson with the ball. To Middleton on the far side. Into the corner now for Dylan Minor. Up and around through Wilburn to Middleton on the near side. He's got a three already. Does Sam. Miller back up top. Here's a three. That's good. Caden Wilburn. His first three points tonight. 42 seconds to play in the first. Turnaround three. That shot, no good. Rebound tipped up in the air into the corner and out of bounds. It's going to stay with the T-Birds. 32.7 seconds to go in the first. And Colin Wilburn back in. He'll replace Hanson. T-Birds on the far side get it in to number 15, Kobe Kellerman. Back up top for Dawson Wright. Wright's got a couple of big shots here in the first quarter. 25 seconds to go. 
Get past the defense, and the floater is good. That's 35, Mark Hollenberg off the bench for two. Here comes Van Farr, final 10 seconds of the first quarter. They lead by one. Over to the far side, Middleton. Back near side, Trey Miller. Miller at the buzzer, no. We played eight minutes here in the second of two championship semifinals from the Bowling Green Invitational on TribCast. Does this sound like you? Or maybe your inner biker sounds like... No matter what motorcycle motor is music to your ears, Shelter Insurance has a policy that's music to your wallet. Shelter insures your fun stuff. Motorcycles to riding mowers, ATVs to RVs, bikes to bass boats. If it rides, rolls, or floats, we can cover it. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. We insure the fun stuff, too. See Shelter Agent Tim Jenkins in Louisiana for a free insurance review. Family Health Pharmacies in Bowling Green and Louisiana offer more prescriptions under more insurance plans for less. That should make you feel better. Family Health Pharmacies is there to help you when you're not feeling your best. Great gift ideas and half-price greeting cards, too. Two convenient locations to serve you. Bowling Green Pharmacy and Hearing Aid Center on the Square in Bowling Green and Family Drug, 301 Georgia in Louisiana. Family Health Pharmacies, just what the doctor ordered. First eight minutes in the books. I'll check the scoring with Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Ken Feeds, Ask Around Account, Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at youngenterprisesinc.com. For the uh, T-Birds, eight points for Gabe Cash, five for Dawson Wright, and two for Mark Hollenberg off the bench. For Van Farm, two points for Vernell Johnson, three for Caden Wilburn, five for Verlin Johnson, three points Sam Middleton, three points Trey Miller, 16-15 our score after one. Cash to the far side for Kellerman. Now to Cody Cash. Into the corner for Mark Hollenberg, and he double dribbled. Called by the back official with 7.43 to play here in the first. Verdell Johnson up the floor with it. He wears number zero for the Indians. Over to Caden Wilburn. Back to Verdell into the corner. Trey Miller faked the three. Floats a pass back out to Verdell. Free throw line. Pass tipped in the air and out of bounds. And it's a North Callaway ball. And Coach uh, Pat Callaway says run the offense. Obviously, there was a breakdown there. Cash trying to give North Callaway back the lead. Add it briefly in the first to the other Cash, and he's... Cut passes out of bounds back to the Indians. Two, three. Well, they split into a man. To the near side. Miller gets it down to Colin Wilbur and off the glass and in. Power move there for Colin. He's got his first two of the night. That was pretty. 6.45 to play. Pass inside. Wilburn picks it up. Slow down. Give it to Caden. There you go. And the pass out to Verdell. Near side for Trey Miller. Trying to feed it inside to Verlin, but it's intercepted. Cody Cash the other way. Blocked from behind. And here comes Van Farr. Ahead. Caden Wilburn to the hoop. Mm, too hard. Rebound taken away by Verlin. No. How about a third chance point out of bounds, and we're going to have a foul. And slapping the deck there was Mark Hollenberg. He wasn't uh, very happy after that uh, segment of the game. The foul, the first on Cody Cash. Sends Verlin to the line, 18-15, and he's short on the first one. He's one for his first four from the line. Verlin, 
Short on that one. And Vernell got sat on by Dawson Wright. Here's Gabe Cash. And a foul going to be whistled against the Indians. The foul is the second on Callan Wilburn. Two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Bounce pass comes in. Now Cody Cash with it over to Gabe Cash on the far point. Thought about three. Gives it to the near side for Kobe Kellerman. That shot no good. Cash got the rebound. Back to other Cash. That was uh, Gabe. Now another rebound. How does he change direction like that and not get charged with a trammel? Shot good and a foul. And this game could be tied if Dawson Wright can convert the three-point play. Foul goes on Trey Miller, his first. Dawson Ryan at the line. Shot, no good. Rebound Trey Miller. And it remains a one point Van Far lead here with uh, just over two and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Here's a long three. That one's a little too long for Caden Wilburn, and the rebound tracked down by the T-Birds. Right hands off for Gabe Cash. Gabe Cash trying to go coast to coast and does. Little guy's got some moves. He's got 10 points also in a one-point North Callaway lead. Here's Trey Miller. Skips it far side. Get it down to Tracing Cowell. Free throw line, and... Three seconds in the lane called against the Indians. Dylan Miner comes back in for Van Far to replace for Lynn Johnson. Kellerman took a break for the T-Birds. Three minutes gone here in the second. 19-18, T-Birds with the lead in the ball. They beat Van Farr in double overtime. Now a steal by Tracing Coel. Coel to the hoop. In and a foul. Gabe Cash picks up the personal. Tracing Coel picks up the buck and a chance for a three point play. 20 to 19 Indians. And the shot no good, so it remains a one-point game. Gabe Cash. Pass to Cody Cash. Cody gives it back to Gabe. Riddell all over Cash, falls down. Trying to draw a foul there by hitting the deck. He's crafty. Not crafty enough on that play. Here's Gabe Cash. Little backup move and in for Kobe Kellerman. His first two points tonight. Give North Callaway back a one point lead. Here's Caden Wilburn for the Van Far Indians. Near side, Dylan Miner. Up and around. Caden with it again. Trying to set something up here. Verdell going to take it, float it. No. Rebound tipped by Coel and picked up by Wright for North Callaway. They have the lead, and here's Gabe Cash. Cash for number 35, Mark Hollenberg. Thought about the three. Wright comes in. Score. No. Rimmed out on him. Trey Miller picks it up, and here comes Verdell for the Indians. To Tracing Coel. His shot off the glass is good. Coel gives Van Farr back the lead. Just one point. Here's right. Far side for Tanner Taylor. To Cody Cash. Pass hit the back of a man, and Van Farr takes over. Five minutes gone here in the second. Trey Miller near side. Caden Wilburn has it go off his hand out of bounds. Back to the 
North Callaway T-Birds, and they take a timeout. 2.55 to go in the first half. 22-21, Van Farr leads on TripCast. Proudly serving the area at 201 South Main in Vandalia, Cole Chiropractic Center is proud to support area high school basketball action on TripCast. Cole Chiropractic Center invites you to call or stop by if you've suffered a sports injury, work injury, or been involved in any type of auto accident. Dr. Cole at Cole Chiropractic offers gentle chiropractic care, 24-hour emergency services with most insurances accepted. Don't suffer needlessly. Call 594-2663. Cole Chiropractic Center, 201 South Main in Vandalia. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Ramsey Dickerman will be there at 503 West Highway 54 in Vandalia. Online at RamseyDickerman.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Back underway. Here's Tanner Taylor. Skip pass to the far side. It's taken away by Caden Wilburn. And a foul. He had Middleton open next to him. Decided to go to the hoop. Doesn't get the basket, but does get the personal. We'll see who's on. They said it was on the floor. And it's the second on Cody Cash. And Tanner Taylor checks out. Caden Wilburn gets it in to Trey Miller. Miller to the hoop. Yeah, off the glass and in. Man far ahead by three. Trey Miller has five of those points. 2.24 to go in the first half. State Farm Insurance Tripcast Halftime coming up. Brought to you by Agents Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Paul Shucard here in Bowling Green. Cash. Down low, shot off the glass is good for Cody Lee. His first two points make it a one-point game. Near side, Trey Miller dumps it inside. Dylan Miner, and he gets it to go. From behind the backboard, Miner puts one in. Minute 50 remains in the first half. Co uh, Gabe Cash to brother Cody. From in front of the free throw line, that shot no good. High off the rim. Caden Wilburn takes it for Van Farr. To Trey Miller. Miller, no, but a foul will send Trey to the line to shoot a pair. Five points tonight for Miller. Van Farr led 16-15 after one. Have a three-point lead right now with a minute 33 on the clock. And the shot is short. Van Farr has gone cold from the line. They made their first for Lynn Johnson, made the first free throw for uh, the Indians that the Indians took tonight. They've missed the last six. So one for seven so far. And the second shot is good. Broke that string two for eight as a team. It's 25%. Not good enough. Here's Cody Cash. In trouble. And out of bounds was Sam Middleton. Good defensive work, though, by the Indians. Mel Troy will do the defending on Gabe Cash as he gets it into Cody. Cody Cash with it. Finds a lane. Trey Miller blocks him, and the shot is missed. But uh, they keep the ball. Uh, Cash got it back. Now to Gabe, to Cody for three. No. Rebound tipped out, but right to Verlin Johnson. Here comes Troy for Van Farr. To Miller, kick it out, Jamel Troy. 54 seconds to go. Troy again to the near side to Verlin Johnson. And the pass tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Indians. 48.7 seconds to go in the first half. Clopton leading Louisiana, 31-28 at the half. That's down the hall. 48.7 seconds to go, and Riley Cowell into the ballgame. A 
Singleton inbounds, gets to Miller, now up top for Coel. Touch pass to Trey Miller. Miller is fouled, fouls on the floor. And it's the first on Mark Hollenberg. So they're a little ahead of us in the other gym to see who will take on Winfield for consolation. Winfield defeated Silex. The final in that one was 70 to 48. A lot of points on the board in that one. Shot good. On the front half of a one and one for Trey Miller. So he's hit two in a row. And up to 33% man far shooting from the free throw line. All right. He's now hit three of four. 29-23. Final 40 seconds. Here comes Gabe Cash. Gabe works against Troy. Jamel all over him. So he gives it to Cody Cash. Over to the far side. Down to 22 seconds. They're running that offense to right. Now into the corner. Back up top to Michael or Dawson Wright. He hands it to Gabe Cash with 10 seconds on the clock. Troy all over him. He works past two defenders into the corner for three. Missing everything was Cody Cash. And a timeout taken with 1.3 seconds to go in the first half by the Van Far Indians. I'll see if they... Maybe add a little more time. 29-23, Van Farr leads closing seconds of the first half on TripCast. In a season of falling temperatures and rising energy bills, your local Bryant professional stands ready to defend your home's comfort. Because when the temperature falls, Bryant turns up the heat efficiently. Your protectors are Sparks Maintenance Contracting, Heating and Cooling in Bowling Green at 106 Business Highway 61 North, 324-6500, SparksHeatingandCooling.com. Bryant, whatever it takes. All right, 1.3 seconds on the clock. They did not add any more time. 29-23, Van Farr leads. They have the ball, have to go to the length of the floor to uh, get a shot here. And we'll see what uh, Riley Coel can do here. Long pass. Get it. And it was intercepted. His pass down intended for Caden Wilburn. And we go to the half with Van Farr up by six. 29-23. The Indians lead the North Callaway T-Birds. And we'll be back with the State Farm Insurance Tribcast halftime after this on thepeoplestribune.com. Take your grocery list to County Market in Louisiana and Vandalia and save big on the foods and essentials your family loves. Savings every day throughout the store in every department. Or let County Market do the cooking for you with signature fried chicken, roasters, sides, and desserts. And don't forget to use your Max Card. They're free and available for instant use from your local County Market grocer in Louisiana, Vandalia, or shop anytime. Find recipes and more at MyCountyMarket.com. Danny Orff Contracting, Pike County and surrounding areas construction and remodeling experts. At Danny Orff Contracting, we specialize in construction and remodeling contractor services. We offer free estimates. We have back-to-back -back scheduling to complete the job promptly and professionally, on time and on budget. If you have a construction project in mind, turn to Danny Orff Contracting. Call today at 573-470-4925. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TribCast is brought to you in part by Shelter Insurance Agent Brent Brandstetter in Bowling Green, the Louisiana Bulldog Booster Club, and Lane Boutique, Maple Grove Lodge Nursing Home, Central Elevator in Silex, Niemeyer Family Farms, Midwest Pest Control, Denise Leverett of RP Land Company, Hubrain Construction, J. Hurt Tree Service, Hankey Construction Company, and Baragiola Hardware and Lumber. More Bowling Green Tournament action is coming up. This is TripCast.
It's time for the State Farm Insurance Tripcast Halftime, brought to you by State Farm Insurance agents Paul Shukart in Bowling Green, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, he played two quarters, and Van Farr has opened up a slight lead on North Callaway, a six-point advantage after the first 16 minutes, 29-23. But uh, Van Farr has to come up with uh, an answer, and maybe they did in the second quarter. Held him just two points, but uh, the first half, good for Gabe Cash. He's got 10 through two quarters, and uh, we'll, we'll give you a full rundown of the scoring with Young Enterprises Incorporated uh, in just a minute. But uh, 10 first-half points for uh, a guy that's, um, well, let's see if I, I can find what they have him listed at uh, here in the book because uh, our thing said 5-7, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what they got him for in the program as well, but uh, – he doesn't even look that tall. They got uh, his brother Cody also uh, at 5'7", and Cody looks two inches taller than Gabe. So maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and, uh, and and that's who's tearing you up through the first two quarters. So you got to find something that works against that little guy uh, in order to keep uh, pulling away here in the uh, second half of this ball game. And you got to shoot free throws better. They did. Uh, Trey Miller was at the line twice, hit three of four, hit his uh, final three, as a matter of fact, um, in that second quarter. But before that, they were one for their first uh, eight from the free throw line, and uh, or one for their first seven, and then that three in a row. So really, just not not great. Uh, and you got to you got to get better from that area as well. And that's been a struggle this season for Van Farr finding that uh, consistency from the free throw line. They'd, uh, probably instead of uh, 10 and 5 right now, maybe be uh, 12, 13, and uh, 2 or 3 uh, if they were a little bit letter, better from that free throw line. So Winfield will be back in the uh, high school gym uh, come Saturday night. Uh, they defeated uh, the Silex Owls in the first consolation semifinal, 40, or 70 to 48. So they'll take on the winner of that Louisiana uh, Clopton game, which is in the second half already. Uh, and uh, right now, it's uh, Clopton leading the Bulldogs 39-30 to uh, in the third quarter. They're on a timeout right now. Chuck and April on the call down there on TripCast. Uh, Bowling Green in the championship game. They beat uh, Ellsbury 53-51, to hanging on for that two-point uh, victory tonight. So Ellsbury will take on uh, the loser of our current game uh, in that third-place game at 5.30 on Saturday. Ladies' championship night is set. We'll be on the air at 4.15 tomorrow uh, before North Callaway and Louisiana for cancellation. Then Van Far ellsbury for third place in the uh, uh, tournament and Bowling Green Clopton, the championship, scheduled for a 7.15 uh, tip-off here on the peoplestribune.com. As all 21 games of the 94th annual Bowling Green Invitational are right here on the peoplestribune.com again this year. Would have been 22, but uh, one... Uh, was called off as Winfield had to forfeit uh, their opening round girls game on Monday. So 29-23 after two, we'll come back with your first half scoring after this on TripCast. Before or after the games at this year's district tournaments, let's go Airco. They're always glad to see you at Airco Travel Plaza in Bowling Green and at Airco Convenience Store in Louisiana. Stop in, fill up your vehicle, and fill yourself up with deli sandwiches, snacks, soda, Chester fried chicken, and more. Good luck to our area teams this week from all your friends at Airco. Open 24 hours a day in Bowling Green on Business 61 South and from Airco Convenience Store at the bridge in Louisiana. Let's go Airco. When it's time for some heavy-duty work in the dirt, there's only one name to remember, McMailer. McMailer & Sons Backhoe and Excavating of Silex now offers a new service, septic system pumping and grease trap cleanouts. Call McMailer for all types of backhoe work with high lift and track hoe. They install water or sewer lines, septic tanks, and drain tile. They can build lakes, do dump truck work, jackhammering, bobcat work, and more. Fully insured, you can count on quality workmanship from McMailer & Sons Backhoe Excavating and Septic in Silex. 384-596. Seven, eight. Good luck to this the is the State Farm Indians Insurance Tripcast Halftime, brought to you by State Farm Insurance agents Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia, Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana, and Paul Shukart in Bowling Green. Here to help life go right, State Farm is there. First half scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. 
Ken Feeds has grown as a cow seeds, crop insurance, and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. For the uh, T-Birds, we mentioned the 10 points from Gabe Cash through the uh, first two quarters. Seven points now for Dawson Wright. Two each for Cody Lee and Kobe Kellerman, and two points for Mark Hollenberg as uh, they score just eight points in the uh, second quarter after putting 15 on the board in the first. For Van Farr, two for Verdell Johnson, two for Colin Wilburn, three points for uh, Caden Wilburn, five for Berlin Johnson, two for Dylan Miner, three points for Sam Middleton, four points now for Tracy Coel, and eight points for Trey Miller, including three or four uh, shooting free throws, three points uh, from beyond the arc, and a deuce in there as well. So he is the leading scorer for the Van Far Indians, and Gabe Cash with his 10 points, the leading scorer for North Galloway. 29-23 after the first two, 2.25 to go before we start quarter number three. First half scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Ken Feeds, that's going to Calum Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. Second half start coming up after this on the PeoplesTribune.com. Good luck to the Van Far Indians and Lady Indians in this week's tournament games. The Van Far Boosters support our hardworking athletes and encourage everyone to visit with any Booster Club member to see how you could become a member yourself. Van Far High School athletes are enjoying an unbelievable run of success and the Van Far Boosters have been there every step of the way. See you at the tournament. Best wishes to the Indians and Lady Indians from your Van Far Indians Booster Club. If you're in the market for New Holland Farm Equipment, an Exmark mower, or Kinsey Planter, see Bowling Green Tractor today. Bowling Green Tractor is celebrating their completely new state-of-the-art shop and newly remodeled showroom to service all your parts, service, and equipment needs. Call Bowling Green Tractor 324-3337 or stop by and check out the expanded shop. Wishing all our area teams the best of luck this year, Bowling Green Tractor. If you buy electricity from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, you're more than a customer. You're a member, too. What does that mean? It means you have a say in how things run. It means you have equity in Quiver River when there's money left after expenses each year. It means that helping you save electricity is important because we're in this together. It means you have more than safe, reliable energy. You have power. You have people. Quiver River Electric Cooperative, owned by those they serve. CUIVRE.com. Now more TribCast coverage of high school sports from the Bowling Green Tractor broadcast booth. Bowling Green Tractor, your New Holland agriculture equipment dealer, 1201 Business, 61 South in Bowling Green. Start of the second half brought to you by Lacrosse Lumber Company. La Crosse Lumber Company has everything you need to tip off your next improvement project at a location close to you. La Crosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. Van Farr ball to start the third quarter. And Caden Wilburn gets it into Verdell Johnson. We're underway with Van Farr up by six. Near side. Now into the center of the lane. Lobs it down low. Berlin puts it in. Berlin Johnson puts Van Farr over 30 for the night. He's got seven points himself. 31-23. Cash to the near side for Wright. Back to Cash. Across the lane, just skipped it through. And Wright with a good finish. He's got nine points already in the game. And the lead cut to six. Burnell to the near side, Caden Wilburn. Up and around to Trey Miller. Lobs it down low for Callan Wilburn. Now for Verdell to Caden. Back up top, here's the three. It's good, Verdell Johnson. Makes it 34 to 25. He's got five points. Wright brings it up the floor this time. Flanked by the Cashes and here's Cody Cash over to the far side and the three is too long but it's tracked down by Cody Cash. He's blocked. Back to Gabe Cash to the near side. Here's Dawson Wright, and he double dribbled. 
it just seemed like North Callaway was out of control that entire possession. Here come the Indians. Up by nine. Berlin cuts it down low. Probably should have taken that one himself as the pass hit a foot and is taken away by North Callaway. 6.15 to play in the third. Here from the 94th Bowling Green Invitational Men's Semifinals, Dawson Wright in the double figures with that floater. 34-27, two minutes gone in the third. Verdell over to the far side, kicks it down to Callen and a push. Gonna be called against North Callaway. 35, Hollenberg picks up his sec second, or third personal, sorry. And he'll check out. Van Farball on the floor. Inbound behind the net. Come all the way out top to Caden Wilburn. Caden, over to Callen. Back to Caden Wilburn. To the near side, Verdell Johnson. Now for Verlin Johnson. Back to Verdell. Up top, touch pass to Colin Wilburn. Over to the far side, Trey Miller steps inside. Gets it to Verlin. And a foul whistled against. No, a travel called instead. The official on the baseline, I think, was going to call a foul. He was overruled by the back official that said he traveled before contact. 5.32 to play. 34-27. And far leads, here's Cash. Drops it off as they weave it to right. Now they run into each other. Ball was kicked and picked up by Gabe Cash. To Cody Cash from the edge of the free throw line. His shot's no good. Rebound tipped up and out of bounds. Last touch by North Cal or uh, by Van Farr. It'll be North Callaway ball. Good job by Dawson Wright putting it off the Van Farr player. Here's Dawson Wright. Drops behind three. His shot short. And the rebound picked up by Verdell Johnson. Three minutes gone in the third. To the near corner. Here's Wilburn for three. That's off the mark. And the rebound tracked on the far side by Trey Miller. Miller back up top. Caden Wilburn thought about three. Gives it to Verdell for three. That shot is good. Verdell Johnson with a tray. Ten point. Van Far lead. He's got eight. And a timeout taken by North Callaway. 37-27. The Indians opening things up slightly here in the third on TripCast. No matter which team you're rooting for, Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford hopes all our area teams have a wonderful and successful season. Young Enterprise features A. Key and Kent Feeds, Astro and DeKalb Seeds, RCIS Crop Insurance, Fertilizer, Chemicals, Interstate Batteries, and more. Visit online at youngenterprisesinc.com for more information. Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Pike County Hospice provides specialized high quality care and support to patients and their families facing a life limiting illness. We offer love, hope, and dignity at the end of life by offering a team approach consisting of physicians, skilled nurses, social workers, spiritual counselors, home health aides, and volunteers. We provide respite care for family and loved ones and offer 24 hour a day access to hospice team. Pike County Hospice reduces financial stress on families and provides bereavement care to loved ones. The Pine County Health Department, neighbors helping neighbors. North Callaway with the ball after the timeout. They get it to Dawson Wright up high. Colin Wilburn out on him. They give it to Cody Cash. Cash feeds it inside. That shot rolls off for Kobe Kellerman, and here comes Van Farr back up the floor. Riddell Johnson dumps it off to Verlin. His shot's good. 12-point lead. Verlin has nine. Still not an Indian in double figures. Here's Dawson Wright. A 
That three is good. Kobe Kellerman with five points tonight. That's a big one. Makes it a nine-point game. 3.35 to go in the third. Pass tipped. Colin Wilburn got it back and a timeout. Yes, timeout taken by the Indians. 3.29 on the clock, 39.30. Van Farr leads on TribCast. Good luck to the Bowling Green Bobcats and Lady Cats this week during the Bowling Green Invitational Tournament. Success is a team effort from our athletes, coaches, student body, and fans accomplished through hard work, talent, fine coaching, and tremendous community support. The Bowling Green Bobcat Athletic Boosters are committed to serving the student athletes of Bowling Green High School. Be sure to visit with any Booster Club member about how you can become a member yourself. Let's go Bobcats, and best of luck from your Bowling Green Bobcats Booster Club. B&B Automotive, home of the $25 oil change up to 5 quarts of oil, is an ASE certified inspection station and offers complete automotive service at a very reasonable rate. Family owned and operated, B&B features low tire prices with many brands to choose from. Stop by or call B&B Automotive in Bowling Green, 573-470-8170. B&B Automotive, 812 West Main in Bowling Green. 39-30, Riddell Johnson with it for Van Farr. Out on him is Kellerman. Now they get it to Caden Wilburn. Cash on him. Over to the far side for Collin. Back to Caden. Now for Verdell. 3-10 to play here in quarter number three. Wilburn to Verlin Johnson. Verlin. Kind of passed it off the backboard to Trey Miller, and he's fouled. And the foul, this time whistled against number four, Tanner Taylor, his first. I think uh, Gabe Cash thought it was his foul. And Trey's shot is short. Breaks a string of three in a row that he had made from the free throw line. Still eight points on the night. Coach Miller calls Tanner Taylor to a position on the near side of the court. And missed them both. So still a nine-point game. Here's Cash with it to the near side. Gives it to Dawson Wright. It's taken away from him by Caden Wilburn. Taken away from him in the backcourt by Hollenberg. Mark Hollenberg with the steal. Now gives it off to Kobe Kellerman. Kellerman to the near side for Hollenberg. Mark Hollenberg holds the ball, 225 on the clock. To Tanner Taylor, over to the far side for Gabe Cash. Cash kicks it back out to Taylor. Tanner, far side for Kobe Kellerman. Kellerman gets it to Hollenberg. He has trouble, goes to the floor, and it's tied up. Going to go to Van Farr with 2.09 to play in the third quarter. Tracing Coel will replace uh, Colin Wilburn. Here comes Van Farr into the front court for Caden Wilburn. Back to Trey Miller on the far side. Into the corner, Dylan Miner to Trey. Now Verdell. Touch pass, Tracing Coel back to Verdell. Steps inside, three. Pass goes to the floor, out of bounds, and it's going to be North Callaway ball. One forty-seven left in this third quarter. Semi-final action of the 94th Bowling Green Invitational. Gabe Cash up the floor with it. Drops it off to the near side. Hollenberg, his shot, no good. Rebound, Dylan, or Sam Middleton for Van Farr. Far side, Trey Miller for three. Too hard. And on the rebound, Middleton going to pick up a personal as he grabbed on to Dawson Wright. So 
Second team foul here in the second half. Riddell had the other one. Pass tipped and almost stolen by Middleton. Cody Cash with it. For Kobe Kellerin, now to Gabe Cash, back to Kellerin. And to Dawson Wright, Wright. Caden Wilburn all over him with 50 seconds to go. He gives it back to Gabe Cash. Cash for Cody Cash. He floats to the baseline and drops it off for Hollenberg. And the pass intercepted by Dylan Miner. Over to the near side for Trey Miller. Skips it across. Sam Middleton to the baseline. Trying to feed Trace and Quill, and it's stolen away by Hollenberg. Ahead to Cash. Go to Cash. No. And the ball picked up by Miner again off the rim. Down to nine seconds. Here's a three. That one's short. And the rebound. Lucky we didn't have an over and back call. Ahead to Cash. This time he puts it up. And no. And we played three. Cody Cash back-to-back -back misses on fast breaks, and he can't even return to the bench. We head to the fourth. Van Far up by nine on TribCast. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Paul Shukard will be there for you. 1210 Business Highway 61 South in Bowling Green. Online at mybowlinggreenagent.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Whether you are ready for a retirement home or care recovering from a hospital stay or surgery, Lynn's Heritage House in Louisiana can provide assisted living to keep you active, safe, and healthy. Family owned and operated since 1996, Lynn's Heritage House offers a beautiful country setting. Private and semi-private rooms with bathroom, low resident to staff ratio, is Medicaid accepted with an RN available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Elegant, affordable assisted living. Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane, Louisiana. Start of the fourth quarter. Let's check scoring with Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Ken Feeds, Ask Grown Account, Seeds, Crop Insurance, and more at YoungEnterprisesInc.com. Van Far outscores North Callaway 10 7 in the third quarter for the T Birds. Two points for Mark Hollenberg, two points for Cody Lee. Five now for Kobe Kellerman, 10 points for Gabe Cash, and he was shut out in the third quarter. Uh, and 11 points for Dawson Wright through two or three quarters. He's got the oh, – Cash has it in the corner. And the pass rejected back to Cody Cash. Van Farr, two points for Colin Wilburn. Three points for Caden Wilburn. Two points for Dylan Miner. Three points for Sam Middleton. That three's no good. They come to the near side. Dawson Wright. No. And it's tipped out. And North Callaway will keep possession. All right. So we got rid of the twos and the threes. Now it's stolen by Trey Miller. And – Slow it down, boys. Four points for Trace and Coel uh, tonight. Eight points for Trey Miller. Eight points for Brunel Johnson. Nine points for Berlin Johnson. Over to the far side. Here's Middleton. Back to Verdell to the near side. Caden Wilburn, no. And on the rebound, Middleton's going to pick up another personal, his second third team foul against the Indians here in the second half. Not the most exciting championship semifinal. We'll see if that changes in the final six minutes and 45 seconds. Near side, Dawson Wright, center of the lane, tries to float one over three Indians and that one out of bounds. It's going to stay with North Callaway. A minute and 24 seconds into this final quarter. Got 
And uh oh, we've got another foul before the inbound play, and it's going to be against Tan uh, Tanner Taylor for North Callaway. Hmm. His second, and then uh, I believe he'll come out. No, and Miner comes out. 6.35 to play. Near side with it, Caden Wilburn back up to Verdell now into the corner and down low. Taking it to the hoop. Unable to convert is Trey Miller, but he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Up and down night for him from there. Missed his first one, made his next three, and missed his last two. Stuck on eight points. 50% from the line at three of six. And misses that one. If he wants to say 50%, he has to make the second one to make it a 10-point lead. And he does. 40 to 30. Near side with a Dawson Wright. Wright trying to find room. Gets it back to Gabe Cash. Cash to the hoop. No, a foul will send Gabe to the line. Second foul on Caden Wilburn. And to the hoop. Oh, rims out. And a charge called. Trey Miller on the receiving end. A foul whistled on Dawson Wright, his second. Third, rather. Pardon me. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Ten-point Van Farr lead over to the far side, Sam Middleton. Let's get past to Caden Wilburn. Back up top to Verdell, back to Caden. Verdell again over to the far side for Middleton. Van Farr content to run some clock here to the near side. Here's Caden Wilburn. He floats one from the baseline over the defense and in. Five points for Caden Wilburn tonight. Timeout taken by North Callaway. 5.30 left to play. 42.30 Van Farr leads on TripCast. Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction, your high-quality one-two punch to knock out tough building projects. Bowling Green Ready Mix for all your concrete and concrete supplies and the only plant locally owned and operated. And Kearns Construction for new homes, remodeling jobs, repair work, and even snow removal. Just call 324-3433 and let the friendly, knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction Company go to work for you. It's time to button up the house to protect against winter's elements. Your local lacrosse lumber company is your weatherization leader with doors, windows, and a full line of Owens Corning insulation. Don't hesitate, insulate. You'll save on your heating and cooling bills year round. For prices on Owens Corning insulation, visit your local lacrosse lumber company today. Savings may vary. Lacrosse Lumber Company, the oldest, most reliable lumber and hardware company in the Midwest since 1873. 42-30. Our score here in the fourth quarter, 5.30 left to play. Man far at the moment in control of this one. And just haven't seen much push from uh, North Calloway since early in the ball game. They were allowing Van Farr to kill some clock there before the timeout. Here's Cash up the floor. That's Gabe. Max up. 5.15 to go. 42.30. It's T-Bird's trail. Almost lost by Dawson Wright. Almost lost again before it got to Kellerman. Now to Cash. And another foul whistled against Sam Middleton. That's his third. Three minutes gone in the fourth. <laughs> I 
And we got a drying party going on down there. Circle of friends. Bounce pass into Dawson Wright. Now back out to Gabe Cash. Cash. Crossover. Worked it inside to Hollenberg. Mark gets that shot to fall. Ten-point game. Four points for Mark Hollenberg. 4.35 left in the ball game. Burnell. Over to the far side, Sam Middleton. Got to find somebody. Gets it to Verlin Johnson. To Caden Wilbur. Now for Verdell. And a foul. And that's the fourth on Dawson Wright. Four thirteen to play. No reaction from the North Callaway bench after that fourth foul was whistled on right. Wilburn, midway point of the third quarter with four minutes to go. Now, here's Verdell up high. North Callaway staying in their sets. Wright comes out. Now to Trey Miller, to Sam Middleton, over to the far side for Verdell again. 3.40 to play. Ball goes to the floor. Verdell picks it back up and scoots it to Trey Miller. Now to Sam Middleton. He'll put up the 12-footer. No good. Verdell the rebound. His put back no, but a foul will send Verdell to the line to shoot a pair. He's been stuck on eight points for a while. He had a couple of threes there early in the second half. And Burnell's first shot is good. Nine points. Three thirty-one on the clock. The foul was the fourth on Mark Hollenberg, and the second shot is good as well. Ten points for Burnell Johnson. Double team coming away with it. Go Gabe Cash over to the far side for Cody Cash. Cash to Cash. Back to Gabe. Three. Ten on the clock. Cash to the hoop. No, but a foul whistled against Trey Miller. That'll put uh, Gabe Cash at the line. He's one for three from that spot tonight. Hasn't scored since very early in the second quarter. Ten points for him on the night. Stops the clock. And the shot is good. Point number 11. And it's an 11-point game. Lead down to 10. 44-34. Here's Caden Wilburn with it to Colin Wilburn. Over to the far side, Trey Miller. Up top, Burdell. Burdell is fouled. By someone named Cash. I don't know which one they gave it to. It's the third foul on Cody Cash. And Vernell back to the line. In a 10-point game, 2.50 to play. And he drains the first. Lead back to 11. Trying to make it a dozen, Verdell Johnson. 
Rims that one out. Three of four from the line. Back the other way. Kellerman gets it into the front court for Cash. That's Cody Cash. Near side for Kellerman. Almost ran out of bounds. Gets it back. Cash for three is short. Right to the far corner and out of bounds. And he had the last touch. Main far ball. Good defense by the Indians. 2.32 to play. Double digit lead. Got to keep it that way. Stop them if you can. Don't take fouls. And then make your free throws at the other end. Here's the end of the night for Dawson Wright. He fouls out of the ball game with 11 points. Here with 2.26 still to play. Wright's night is over. He'll take a seat at the end of the T-Bird bench. To the line, Caden Wilburn, his first trip there tonight. Be a one and one. The last one and one. That's the ninth team foul. And the first shot earns him the second shot. And back to a 12-point lead. Mink uh, misses the second one. So lead still a dozen. And missed what the call was there. No foul on the play. Cash on the far side. And stolen by Vernell. From behind, Cash knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Indians. 2.04 to go. Couple of more points, and uh, this thing might be iced. And we'll have our Van Farr Bowling Green, Bowling Green Tournament Championship game scheduled. Verdell thought about popping the three, thought about laying it inside to Berlin, didn't do either. Took it back up top and ran the offense and a five second call against Verdell. I thought he did enough there. Apparently not the case. That shot won't stick on the iron, and uh, Cash is hurt. He went down on his back. And Gabe Cash, very slow to get up, and will have to be helped first to his feet and then to the bench, it looks like. And he goes down to a knee. PCMH trainers up from behind the bench, making their way down to see if they can assist. And Ryan Pitzer will assess the uh, injured player, Gabe Cash, behind the bench. And that's going to be it, I think, for uh, Gabe Cash. He's taken off the shoe and taken off the ankle braces. I think coach told him your night's done. The shot no good. The foul was on Verlin. Cody Lee at the line. Crompton wins 64 to 59 down the hall. For Lynn Johnson, the rebound is Lee missed them both. So still a 12-point lead. We're down to a minute 34 to go. Well, Cash is redoing things, so he might be available to come back in, but we're getting down to the nitty and the gritty now. Here's Verlin Johnson. Puts it to Trey Miller, who puts it in. Miller. 
has 11 points and a timeout taken with a minute 17 to play. 48-34, Van Farr leads North Callaway on TribCast. For over 90 years, Calvert's General Insurance has protected homeowners, farmers, and area drivers from life's unexpected incidents. This is Tim Gamb. Here at Calvert's General Insurance, we offer insurance from multiple companies to find you the best coverage at the best price. Call us at 573-324-2321 for a free quote. Calvert's General Insurance, on the square in Bowling Green. The 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational on TripCast is brought to you in part by Pike County Title Company, Hayden's Motorsports Center, Abel's Quick Shops, Craig Bowen CPAs, Rawls County Mutual Insurance, Ingram Plumbing, DH Electric, by Saints Avenue Cafe, Lincoln County Technical Skills and Services, Wood Smoke Meats, Twin City Bowl, and by Northeast Missouri Title Company. More Bowling Green tournament action is coming up. This is TribCast. 48-34 is the Van Far lead over North Callaway. Winner goes to the championship game. Winner will take our loser will take on Ellsbury in the third place game on Saturday. Ball almost stripped away and a double dribble called on Cody Lee. Van Far gets it back up 14 and they'll empty their bench. Wholesale changes. Into the ball game, Morgan Slatton, Riley Hansen. Uh, who else came in? Aiden Lawrence out there. Sam Middleton. Final 54 seconds. That shot no good. And the rebound pulled down by Noah Scrogum. Noel with it again, works it down low. And to Ian Rohrbach. That shot, good and a foul. Rohrbach with his first two points of the night. Chance to make it three from the line. 34.3 seconds to go. Make it 48-36. Lead is a dozen. It can be cut to... An 11-point Van Farley with a shot in and out, no good. Rebound to the floor, and on that rebound, number 45, Will Jeffries commits a foul. And it'll be a two-shot foul. For Van Fars, number 40, Morgan Slatton. Slat into the line, trying to get into the book. With 32 and a half ticks remaining, and he puts the first one in. Second shot is good as well. 50 to 36. North Calloway down to 21 seconds. That shot no good. Put back is good. Jeffries with two points. Final 10 seconds. Down to seven. And five remains. 50 to 38 is our final. It'll be Bowling Green Van Farr for the championship. We'll be back with the Bowling Green Ready, Ready Mix TribCast postgame for you after this on thepeoplestribune.com. Hello, this is Mary Millen from Community State Bank of Missouri. Some financial institutions make you go through a lot of red tape to get a loan. At Community State Bank, we try to keep things simple. When you talk with us, you're talking to the people who make decisions. Next time you need a loan for whatever reason, come see us. You'll be glad you did. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887, equal housing lender. 
Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon remind you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. It's time for the Bowling Green Ready Mix Trip Pass Post Game. Brought to you by Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction. Your high quality one two punch to knock out building projects. Van Farm wins this one in very business like fashion uh, 50 to 38. Clopton defeats Louisiana down the hall 64 to 59. Uh, Winfield over Silex 70 to 48. And Bowling Green over. Ellsbury 53-51. So that sets our championship night. Bowling Green, Van Farr for the championship at 7 o'clock on Saturday. Third place is uh, Ellsbury and North Callaway at 5.50, the scheduled start time. And Winfield and Clopton will play in the Consolation Championship game to start the night. 3.45 pregame, 4 o'clock tip-off here from uh, the high school gym on Saturday. And uh, let's uh, get... Our Community State Bank Tripcast player of the game and our uh, winning coach in here. And uh, we'll start, uh, who are we going to start with? We'll start with uh, Coach Pat Conaway. Coach, um, that was probably the most business-like uh, Van Farr victory. Uh, almost, I, I, I hate to use the word boring, but uh, but uh, after the first quarter, uh, you guys uh, shut down the little cash kid and uh, and, and just uh, worked your sets and, and, and got the baskets. You know, tonight we did a good job defending. I mean, we played man all night. We've been struggling with man all year, our rotations. We, <coughs> excuse me, we weren't uh, really getting that trap like we wanted in the first quarter. And then everything just kind of clicked, and our defense was really good. Uh, you know, you hold them to 30-some points. You know, it's a pretty good effort. And I think well, they scored 17 in the first quarter. So, yeah. you know, we gave up basically 15, yeah. you know, 20-some points in the last three quarters. So, uh, you know, offensively, yeah, we did some good things. We still got some work to do there, but, uh, you know, we moved the ball better. We Free saw throws. the floor. Free <laughs> throws are killing us. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about that and got two good shooters. You know, I, I don't know where we end up for the game. We were four for ten at half and, you know, just not very good. Got to get better. You know, we're, it's going to be hard to make a run. Uh, you know, shooting free throws like that. You know, we could have expanded and ballooned this game up to 15 to 20 early, uh -huh. you know, in the third if we could have made free throws. But uh, we kept fighting. I thought we did a great job on defense. Uh, kept our composure, you know, some calls, you know, I thought they kind of bailed the cash kid out quite a bit. But, you know, it is what it is. We, you know, we finally stood there. Trey took a charge. You know, we've been preaching that for how long, Verdell? We've been wanting charges. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we did a lot of good things, and uh, it's a very good win. Uh, you know, it's one thing we talked about that last year's team, we always avenge our losses. And this is the first time we've done that this year. So, uh, you know, hats off to the boys and the defense. Now we got to get ready, put in a good hard day at practice tomorrow and get ready for Bowling Green. You know, it's going to be tough to beat them in their place. And, you know, the I guess it's good and bad. We see them for the championship Saturday night, and then we turn around and come here Thursday night in the makeup game. So we're going to get them twice in less than a week. So, uh, you know, we got to be prepared. Uh, you know, our young man over here is uh, starting to transition into that point guard we need. He did a lot of good things attacking that zone. You know, we got on him a little bit for a couple floaters when he should have dropped down, and then – he attacks, kicks to Caden, misses the three. Is that when I heard but run then, the offense? Is that what I heard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then, you know, that's why I told him, when you do good things, good things happen. Uh -huh. After that miss, we find him wide open. He's hollering one more, and he buries the three. Yeah. You know, and I thought he did a great job, especially in the second half. He worked hard on defense. But uh, all around, just a good effort and very pleased with the boys. Well, congratulations. Uh, a Bowling Green Van Farr uh, championship game, just like old times uh, oh, here yeah. at, at the tournament. Congratulations, Coach. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks, sir. Appreciate all you guys do. And like I said, every day it's a great day to be an Indian. Now, Verdell, you're free to be yourself. I'm not going to put any reins on you. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get uh, our Community State Bank Tripcast player of the game in here. Uh, 11 points tonight. That's a, a team high time with uh, Trey. Uh, just uh, first off, how do you avoid the, the – the revenge trap. Uh, you guys lost to them in double overtime yeah. earlier in the year on a buzzer beater. I know you guys wanted this game, wanted to get that uh, revenge. You know you're better than the North Callaway. How how do you avoid that trap and just go out there and 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 play your game? Well, we just got to go out there and play to our full potential, and we just wanted the dub. 
and want to uh, re- get our revenge to him. And we really want to play Bowling Green since our game got canceled. So we're looking forward to that. So, uh, like Coach said, you're going to play him twice in a week now. Uh, yeah. uh, coming up uh, Saturday and Thursday next week. But uh, how – how uh, you, you the, the game last year, I, you, mo- you mostly watched that one uh, against yeah. Louisiana. A pretty exciting uh, game. What do you guys do uh, for a sequel now? Uh, is it going to be as exciting as last year's, or are you guys yeah. going to go out there and and, uh, and blow it up early? Well, we obviously want to win it back-to-back, so we're going to go out there and charge our hardest and try to get the dub and get another championship bringing it home. It's, uh, it's always good to be in the title game uh, at the Bowling Green Tournament and uh, – and a Van Farr uh, championship against Bowling Green, uh, that's huge. That that yeah. brings the people, uh, that fills the seats in this building. Yeah, it's a big crowd, yeah. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Great effort tonight. I love those back-to-back uh, trade or those uh, two trays in the third quarter, man. Uh, very nice, very you nice. You see I me for 11? Yep. I thought I had 30. You thought you had 30? <laughs> no, I was just uh, Well, maybe, maybe uh, let's look back in the book. Uh, <laughs> let's see if you, you had 20 in the first game, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, man. Uh, all right. Ha- have a good one. We'll, uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Get some rest. Have a good practice. All right, thank you. That's uh, Verdell Johnson, our Community State Bank Tripcast player of the game. Uh, tied for a team high with 11 points tonight as uh, the Van Farr Indians win this one. Uh, really not even as close as the 50-38 uh, to 38 score. Uh, that uh, we end up with. So it'll be Bowling Green and Van Farr. We'll take a quick break, come back with your final scoring numbers after this on the Bowling Green Ready Mix TripCast postgame. Mid-America Auto and Towing, complete automotive service, new and used tires with wholesale pricing. Mid-America Auto and Towing has a great line of used cars and trucks available with financing options for everyone. Buy here and pay here on select models at Mid-America Auto and Towing. Now at 15877 Highway 54 in Bowling Green across from the fairgrounds. Mid-America Auto and Towing. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. But with an active lifestyle of sports come health risks and safety hazards. I'm Ryan Pitzer, certified athletic trainer at PCMH, and I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. Working with Louisiana, Bowling Green, and Coffin schools, we strive to prevent, diagnose, and treat a wide variety of injuries, ranging from sprains and fractures to heat stroke and concussions. In addition to sports coverage, we offer impact testing for head injuries, as well as athletic enhancement for those athletes looking to get a step ahead of the competition. Rest assured, I'm at work while your athletes are at play. This is the Bowling Green Ready Mix TripCast Post Game, brought to you by Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction. Your high quality one two punch to knock out building projects. In the final in this one, 50 to 38. Van Farr over North Callaway. Get the scoring in a second. And uh, remind you, our coverage starts tomorrow at 4 15 here from the high school gym as uh, we wrap up the tournament for the ladies here at the uh, 94th Annual Bowling Green Invitational, North Callaway in Louisiana. Uh, and that is the uh, four seed against the seven seed for consolation. And uh, then the third place game scheduled for 550. It is uh, number five seed Van Farr against number three seed Ellsbury. And finally, number one seed Bowling Green against number two seed Clopton for the championship. Tip off scheduled in that one for uh, 715. I think it'll be a little bit later than that, but uh, championship night for the ladies tomorrow night on TripCast. Scoring brought to you by Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford, youngenterprisesinc.com. For uh, North Callaway, they uh, got 12 points from Gabe Cash, but only two after the half. Only uh, two points for Gabe after the first minute of the second quarter. 11 points for Dawson Wright. He fouled out of the ball game with about two and a half minutes to go. Five points for Kobe Kellerman. Four for Mark Hollenberg. Uh, two points each for Will Jeffries and Cody Lee as they score 38 as a team. Van Farr, they put 50 on the board tonight. 11 points for our Community State Bank Tripcast player of the game, Verdell Johnson. 11 for Trey Miller. Nine points for Verlin Johnson uh, tonight. Uh, six points for Caden Wilburn. Four for Trayson Coel. Uh, Three points for Sam Middleton, two points for Colin Wilburn, two points for Dylan Miner, and two points for Morgan Slatton there at the end on a couple of free throws. 50-38 to our final. Van Farr and Bowling Green in the tournament championship on Saturday night uh, here as one takes on two in both the girls and boys uh, championships of this invitational. 50-38 to our final in this one. 
Final scores from earlier, Bowling Green over Ellsbury, 53-51 to set up our championship game and our third place game. And uh, over in the other gym, uh, Winfield defeated Silex 70-48, and Clopton defeats Louisiana 64-59 to to both them into the consolation title game back into the big gym on Saturday night. For uh, Chuck and April down in the other gym, Jason Orr, who uh, went to the student section for the uh, Van Farr game, he was with us for the first game, and uh, Nancy and Liv running the cameras tonight. Everyone at the Trib, we say thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for the championships on TribCast. Good night, everybody.